I memang tahu Jay in you can put me a anything now a task you know I can pull your curtain or pull your tablecloth I can cut I can you know when you do your craft don't think of fortune and fame you know you more important you uh, you know constantly correcting yourself make it as effortless as you can as cool as you can then the fortune and uh, you know fame will come naturally when we did the exhibition you just see the exhibition macam nampak senang ambil patung ambil gambar baju letak no It's a lot of process, you know. So, so I kind of like out of thousand of outfit, then we have to sit down and discuss what is the format, tempat dia macam mana, patung pun dah berapa banyak. Fashion is very subjective thing, you know. Man? As long as you shop sendiri, go ahead. Believe in yourself, masa you buat. Salah pun tak apa. As long as you do the mistake, you will never turn back, you know. Yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nama saya Ashraf Khalid dan bersama saya Ishraq Kamaruddin. Selamat datang ke Apa Cerita Podcast di mana kita dengar kisah individu-individu yang berjaya dan menarik untuk dijadikan sebagai teladan dan inspirasi. inspirasi. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so today we are back yet again with the Founder Series episode. Yes. And our guest today adalah orang yang tak asing lagi dalam dunia fashion and is known as the king of fashion. Ya. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super excited up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what? Please do the honor of introducing our guest today. All right, but before that, uh, kita nak minta tolong the viewers the viewers out there yang mana yang belum subscribe kepada apa cerita, do subscribe so that we can help more people and also inspire more people. Correct, so that yeah. we can make Malaysia a high income nation. Yeah. And also not to forget our sponsor today. Episod hari ini istimewa dibawakan oleh Usanita Sendian Berhad. Sebuah platform networking untuk usahawan Malaysia uh, yang boleh, you know, connect with each other and share pandangan, etc. Et yes, yeah, so you guys boleh layari website www.usanita.com yep, yep. untuk tahu lebih lanjut yes. tentang Usanita. And can check out their Instagram or TikTok, rasmi usanita.hq. Alright, so right. take it away. Take it away. Alright, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A fashion legend, he was the first non-European to win the Silk Cut Young Designers Award and Open European Contest for Look of the Year 2000. This is a non-European that won an European punya award. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Maksudnya betul-betul hebat lah kita yeah. ni guest today. Okay. So many top... World class lah. Yeah, class. world class. Exactly. <laughs> many top A-list celebrities have been seen wearing our guest creations such as Estelle. For those yang tak tahu Estelle, Estelle ada nyanyi dengan Kanye West. Oh. Take me down na, 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 home someday. Day. And Estelle did war... Uh, our guest today's baju while performing Lady Gaga wow. which don't need any introduction and Tori Amos and most recent, recently up Fan Bing Bing oh yang yeah. uh, Duta Melaka yes <laughs> a top Chinese actress uh, yeah. was named one of the highest earning actress in China and I saw the dress up and I'm, I must say wow yeah, yeah. definitely even the actress also <laughs> boleh tahan yeah <laughs> So, so pre- yeah, go go this go Chinese guy. Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so previously we had Rizman at our podcast. We can say Rizman could be the current Malaysia's prince of fashion, but today we are honored to have the king of fashion in our studio and salah satu of the fashion big four. Wow. Yes. So without further ado, we are pleased to introduce Malaysia's King of Fashion, Datuk Sri Bernard Chandra. Terima kasih. I don't know what to say. Amazing PR. Thank you so much, Datuk Sri. Yeah. Thank you so Sama-sama. much for... Again, so making... thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty, for gracing our <laughs> studio. Yes. Your Majesty. Yeah, uh, better, better. Uh, really. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The spirit of coronation around the corner, kan? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So I told Ishra uh, before we did the interview, kan? Mm-hmm. I got uh, one one piece of Bernard Chandran clothes, <laughs> yeah. but of the price of many clothes. <laughs> 
uh, but it's worth it <laughs> it's believe worth it. me yeah. 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 it looks memang yeah. different lah yeah. 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 make so, you coming yeah. back for more lah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 they iconic lah dalam I punya baju tu kira baju budak China tak boleh buang lah that's yeah. like one of the first tapi masalah dah tak muat Oh ya, yeah. uh, so I have to do new one lah. Eh? Ya, yeah, mesti itu itu the whole idea tu. Tak akan you pasal tu jangan kata season dengan time, you know, different yeah. time, yeah. season change, you know. Yeah. So, uh, And yeah. I think once you go for the exhibition that's coming soon, maybe yeah. you renew yeah. your interest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe grab a few, grab a few. All right. All right. Okay. The third three. Of course, uh, today people know you as a fashion icon, mm-hmm. but I want to take it back. Uh, further back lah mm. uh, being born into a Chinese mother and an Indian father how did your mixed cultural background influence your upbringing? Uh, 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 normally I always tell people sekarang Amerika selalu cakap diverse diverse kan mm. I think diverse already in my house mm. total kalau in Europe you tell for example in Europe I always tell I'm a, a Chinese mom and uh, Indian dad they will like shock You know, they will, you can see uh, the Chinese can marry the black or the mm. white, but they never married the Indian. <laughs> <laughs> the Indian will marry the Chinese, uh, uh, marry the black or the white, but they never married the mm. uh, the the Indian. So mm. it is a very big mix. But masa tu, I pun tak tahu. So you, you, they already uh, into that. So I think uh, that, uh, uh, and also living in an Islamic country, with the Malaysian, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, 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 culture culture and you know that we are kind of like uh, very gifted and honored i think you know uh, to me whatever people say but i'm very grateful and i'm uh, thanks to my ancestors they came here and and i have a great life and inspired a lot of i believe masa uh, saya leave kuala lumpur to paris to membelajar fashion ingat i going to get a freedom there tetapi dari situ i knew that in our backyard in Malaysia is much more inspiring and spice of the beauty and creativity banyak kat sini ya. Faham? And yeah. how was your childhood like? Like how was your your parents kerja apa? And then yeah. how was it like? You, It's you tough for my mom to marry to my dad because of a Chinese family married to mm. Indian. Memang is a tough. But to my mom is a very, uh, she's really inspired me by being as a person. Uh, masa dah dia, dia dah kahwin, my mom working, my father is a plant engineering, simple person, climb, and he's quite creative in his field mm-hmm. as a, you know, uh, uh, Engineer. in, engineering, you know, plumbing and things like that. My mom, she's born to love fashion for herself. Uh, she saw herself and she worked in a factory mm-hmm. and she go to work, she looking fabulous. Everybody <laughs> not want the neighbor want to know, dear as what? My mom said, you don't have to tell what I do, yeah. but just, You know, so she don't, dia tak akan uh, beritahu. Tapi cara dia memakai baju macam dia manager kan. <laughs> <laughs> But she just, uh, as a factory lady who working there. Mm. And But she got ta- style lah. Uh, she, she got sweat. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So I pergi uh, festival ke, shopping ke, whatever. So I learned from her. Dia pilih instead of dia nak pergi beli satu ke dua pakaian. And then she end up buying few more. And she told me, do not tell your dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I yeah. So and I remember masa saya in the 70s, late 70s. I think I probably about nine or 10 years old. Mak saya uh, uh, walking into its house after work dengan dad saya. She told my dad, kita tidak boleh akan memakai seluar bell bottom besar lagi. We have to crop it. Mm. You know, because she already giving important. Walaupun kita tinggal di uh, simple home. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know who the hell cares? You know mm. whether you look great or not. But to her, is is all the time sh- is for her. Mm. So then now you reflect back. Uh, maybe a lot of people think I, my sons, all are mad. We go to work, but every day, memang I looks like going for a big event. <laughs> so, uh, you know, even today you look so uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fashion, yeah. fashionable. Yeah. Fashionable. Oh, yeah. Is 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 my every daily. Ritual routine pagi-pagi. I want to look nice and go every day, anywhere yep. pun ya. Yeah. 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 Just, do, you, do you would you say that you dapat you punya like taste and mm. you know in style from from your mother? Yes, yourself? I think uh, that she influences. Yeah, yeah, she influence. influence. And then masa saya seorang student um, uh, uh, belajar fashion pun bukan saya belajar fashion, tetapi saya perlu. My mom say you have to learn how to sew and cut. Mm. So say you know you, you know you, you you say you are a cook but you don't cook. Mm-hmm. You know that kind of thing. So I memang tahu jay. In you can put me a 
anything now, a task, you know, I can pull your curtain or pull your tablecloth, I can cut, I can, you know. So Until today, you so, can yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, So all the time, when we do a fashion, we have to be in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, most imp- paling penting ialah macam pattern making lah. M- what mold to. You know, the mold you have to do it, the mold lasts forever. You know, then uh, you know, uh, feel uh, je- apa jenis kain boleh buat uh, what kind of a uh, baju and it's, it's very important. That all by experience and time. Kita semua perlu make a mistake. Yeah, so my mother is like, first thing flip baju tu tengok, eh, ini mana orang buat baju macam ni? You know, you shouldn't do this, you must finish it. So, bukan sahaja potongan bagus, nampak luar bagus, tetapi inside the lining, the finishing, she's very careful. Wow. So, my wife... It has to did, be perfect. Perfect, yeah. yeah. She liked even the lining. Mm. So, for example, dia kata, you ada rumah besar, tapi cantik. Loan tu berapa banyak? <laughs> mm. So, you only know. You know, if you own house, you already fully pay your loan, you walk confidently. So, mm. you punya baju dalam tu, lining semua perfect, you walk the swagger is first class. Wow. So, that's why you look, you know that you're wearing amazing craft. You know, kalau lah dalam situ koyak sini, koyak situ, so you also like, no confident, the, you're feeling insecure. Mm. Understand? So, uh, it's not about being expensive clothes ke, um, um, uh, second hand ke, tidak. It, it, bottom line, is like, you choose something is uh, uh, first of all you must feel good yep. you know and then uh, the the craft you pilih you know you no compromise mm. you know um. yeah okay let's mm. as a child right mm. how did you discover your talent in designing can mm. did you uh, find that at a young age and did your parents uh, support your ambition Uh, in the beginning, before yeah. you yeah, went uh, into studying. Even. Of course, from Indian Chinese family, you don't get that. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I'm engineering, sure. Uh, yeah, accountant, engineering, uh, accountant, uh, yes. you know. Of course, I studied Doctor, account. Yeah, so I memang belajar account. And uh, after SPM, mm-hmm. uh, that is the influence. My father want me to be an accountant. And he always remind me. Tetapi, I like fashion. I love a lot of fashion. Memang, I... Uh, 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 demand for luxury stuff and I'm very young also my father would be used to slap me you know <laughs> you're crazy why you want a 90 ringgit shoe you're talking about in the 80s mm. I my whole life never wear this 90 ringgit shoe <laughs> you know because I see the movie you know uh, I wanted the shoe like that you know the mm. 70 shoe and um, of course uh, 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 I, I, I like for example I would I think seseorang tu, uh, you really nak jadi seorang perikat fashion ke atau anything you want to be. But that time, my time is tougher lagi. 45 years ago, can you imagine, you nak cakap fashion design, mana fashion design? Hmm. You know, there's it's a job that people think uh, like doesn't you exist. Get, uh, yeah, that, yeah, it doesn't exist. If it exists also, it's that you, these are the people who get high. You know, like a rock star. <laughs> they are get high, they are, will be like hanging around in club, <laughs> don't have uh, children, <laughs> won't marry, you know. <laughs> so this kind of thing in their mindset, even your best friend or relative no support. If today you say your parents don't support you, be a rock star, tapi your whole bunch of friends understand, they will help you. Mm. But my time, even my friend look at me, you're not really mm. designer, eh? I can imagine you one workshop in PJ, half jewel hacks and magazine newspaper. <laughs> the other half you'll be sewing tailoring, you know, measuring. <laughs> That's what my friend can imagine for me. So nobody actually support you, mm-hmm. you know. So that because I think the DNA for my mom taking effort to even everybody stop her to marrying my dad. She married him, mm. you know. Persistency, then, yeah. Uh, so you so that. that I have that. So I look into. I remember. Uh, I went and study account for my father. My father used to say, oh, contoh kau tengok Sudirman. Mm. Dia seorang penyanyi, but he also a lawyer. Mm. Kalau he cannot sing well, he still got can practice lawyer. So you must do something. Like, oh, you be an accountant. If your fashion no good, you be accountant. Mm. I would advise now, my opinion, just you like one thing, you focus on one. Mm. You know what I mean? I always say that, don't try to be this and that. So I did after SPM. Uh, I took, uh, uh, you know what you call uh, uh, accountancy for 14 months. And then one, uh, or, 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 what do you call in uh, Halloween's night, 31st, I went to a bar with him. Mm. I looked into my eyes there. Tapi I dah bought all my research plans, semua sudah buat. In Asia Jaya PJ, second floor. I Third floor, I go for snooker with my friend after school when I'm 14, you know, I'm 16, 17, you know. Then I say, 
oh, this is there's a fashion international fashion training center. It teach all the expatriate wife how to make clothes mm. and some drawing. So lantak lah, got the sikit itu pun jadi. So all my friends say, eh, kalau you nak jadi designer, you must come here, my friends say. They make fun of me. I say, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how. But I already say, but that time you don't even have a proper fashion school. That's the only one, you know. Mm. So what happened? I dah tanya harga semua berapa. So I, this is also, mm. I think that I need to, uh, to always tell my kids, you want to be whatever you want to be. You know, you can't. Yep. But you must have the desire, you must have the courage to even sing the song every day to other people. You pun malu nak cakap you nak jadi seorang rockstar, how? Mm -hmm. So I look into my father's eyes in the bar, nervous but brave. I say, you so afraid that I going to can't be successful in my life. That's a, every parent's punya worries, yep. kan? You know, dia mesti kalau lawyer ke, yes, uh, doctor ke, they somehow dia survive lah. Safe. Uh, safe. Safe, yeah. So I look at him, I just say, you know what? You want me to be rich? You want me to be successful? The only one way I can by being fashion designer, looking at me like that. He said that you just sign up for your account class. How can then after that what? Next, next you're going to tell me you're going to be singing. And then how? I going to say I said no. You give me. So, okay, can. So I told him about the school. Mm. You know, it's a you know a two years in course PJ. Uh, in PJ, and this is the amount. Oh no 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 no! I'm going to pay you quarter first. So you try maybe three months. You don't know. I said it's okay. Mm. I'll sign up. Then I sign up. So when I sign up, so I sign up immediately. I I sign up to the school. The, the, but I always dress up fantastically. The principal really loved me. Mm -hmm. And then I left my account school. But after one month, the account school have a, what do you call a, a problem? No, no, no problem. They having a ball. Oh, okay. so they say, oh, Bernard just went to a, a fashion school. So we should do a small fashion show. Mm -hmm. They actually asked me. Oh. So I say, okay, I'll do a small fashion show for you. You know, so I grew up. So I saw all the lady. I'm very charming. So I will work with all these auntie in the in the in the fa my fashion school. Can you show me this outfit? Can you show me this outfit? Mm. So I grew up made into a small fashion show with their clothes. The principal saw and told my father. I invited my father. It's a PJ Hilton ballroom. They had a small, wow. yeah, uh, 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 what do you call a, a ball with a. It's an account school, but I had a fashion show and I invited my parents and then of course the principal. Then the principal told my dad, "Your son." had made my school is, uh, you know, a bus, you know, like everyone are uh, uh, very dry, excited. yeah, exciting and very youthful. Mm -hmm. So she said, he don't have to pay the school fees. You just send him to the school. Mm. <laughs> yeah, to the designing school? Yeah, so I didn't pay, oh. I just pay a quarter only. Oh, yeah, really? So, yeah. yeah, so that, that, that. That's like your partial sponsorship. Uh, yeah. yeah, scholarship, a scholarship by the scholarship university. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm. amazing. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, at the same time, there's one of the wife, uh, uh, general manager of Pan Pacific Hotel. Mm. Uh, the, has, uh, the, 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 wife. the wife was studying in the school. The husband is, a, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Pan Pacific general manager. He saw the show. He said, you can do the show at I Punya Hotel. Uh, it's a tea show. But uh, I want to know, right? What did you do yang sampai orang boleh macam spot your talent at that time? What did you do different? Like, yeah. So what, what happened sir, music video in the, in the, in the, in the, in the 80s, much like 13, 14, 15, Michael Jackson, Duran Duran, mm -hmm. Spender Ballet, this is all my, uh, we have only music video. Mm -hmm. So I see through music video. So music video drive me, wow, the kind of baju, you know, uptown girls, he's a yeah, lady, yeah, yeah. uptown. So that's why I wanted uh, all the like, uh, uh, Bon Jovi and you see what you call um, David Bowie, everybody have a model wife. Mm. So you dream, dream is free. Yeah, yeah. Why are you stingy about your dream? Just yep. dream wild. So I wanted a beauty queen as my wife. I wanted a model as my wife. That's wow. why I think, siapa siapa datang, uh, not so whatever, I just okay lah keluar dengan you saja. Tapi my heart, I want. So <laughs> I got my wife. She was a super model oh. and she's taller than me. Nobody believes that I can oh. make it to me. So I made my way, cut long story short. She'd be my girlfriend in a month. Mm. You know, so I think that, uh, yeah, that's why I always tell people dream is free, you know? Mm. Like also clientele why I want the best because I think that dream is free. You just dream, people Who's ask to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's to stop you, right? So that, yeah. that, that from there, then I wanted to go to Paris because of 1986. I nampa uh, video fashion in in in, yeah. in 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 what do you call in the TV. So before I wanted to go to London, then I think of video fashion. Dia tunjo New York Fashion Week, uh, London Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week. Then I found it Paris Fashion Week is like serious, serious fashion, hardcore. 
and the rest looks like a student show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it looks like something at, time, at, at, at the time. time. And not, yeah, so it's like not like as Paris. Mm. So it looks immaculate, slick. So I think that I lack of something which I only make flat pattern in Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. But in Paris, this shows how the designer drape the Paris uh, uh, in a dummy. I mean, then they translate to pattern. So that is more technical part. Then I, I want to train me as a technical rather than think about create, you know. Mm. So then that's how I went to Paris. Very Paris, I belajar lah. Uh, uh, went to Paris and yeah. So yeah. said, but sure, how, yeah. how was your studying? I mean, yeah, you went to one of the top school yeah, in, uh, yeah. in, in Paris, like top fashion school. Mm. And, and how did that actually shape you and your work today? Like your experience in Paris? I think Paris has contributed a lot. In, uh, I think travel to work in uh, work and study in other countries is always uh, in di, di banyak, banyak different I mean uh, uh, area you can see studying in school is one plus one you must think carefully the, to me even I think like that okay the, the whole city inspired me already you know cara orang memakai cara orang cakap cara orang talking about the, 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 the finishing proportion you know, and then you go to the macam kedai-kedai uh, fashion ke, kedai-kedai macam we uh, cakap jual kain ke, you know. Everything's about uh, uh, very, everybody in very passionate in their own field. Walaupun dia jual kain. You know, all the, okay, that is inspiring me. Uh, I would say, but why the school, uh, uh, macam cikgu pun, I would, I would sit down there, so I would pull up the most difficult things that, I cannot make, I tanya cikgu. Then cikgu pula, uh, sometimes tell me so many times pun, bukan dia tak get it. Then I, you know, otak ni kita kena pakai. So, I will think, dia ni cikgu ajar saya eh, satu campur satu. Then dua, then dia ni kalau pandai sangat, sure he already jadi fashion designer, <laughs> ataupun kerja dekat design house. Hmm. Maybe he not good, that's why he teaching here. <laughs> so, I think, I just have but to learn the basic. it's a top fashion school. Yes, they can teach you by creativity, they can't deliver yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. They can't match you the color, proportion, uh, a plastic campur silk, they cannot tell me that. More technical uh, stuff. More technical, but he can teach you very, satu campur satu dua, tu lah. <laughs> Then how? <laughs> so yeah. 1,000, 2,000, yeah. So that is my kepandaian saya lah later. Then I realized that I want to make the sleep. I bought sendiri mm -hmm. for the you know, school from nine to four. I will stay back until almost midnight. Mm. I catch my last train. And I made one sleep in two weeks. Mm. Till today I'm using that. That's why I call it, then you see some mad fella doing his music, lock the room, let it be. Dia, so you were that mad, mad yeah, yeah, musician yeah. I never cares about my look mm. beard semua tak share. just want to get the sleeve right sampai sekarang I use that's why it's slick and slim you know that, that means you you found something you know mm. you can kita kena recreate and recreate mm. pasal tu when you wear a jacket sometimes I show to all my masters uh, masa kita kerja oh jacket ni susah nak buat kerana ini dah banyak kali eksperimen you tahu kan nah, that means the jacket that you're wearing I already do 10 times sample mm. you know 10 kali then baru sukses then orang yang beli he only think about the 10 times dia tak saya dah rugi 10 mm. kali punya kerja dengan yeah. they, they don't faham, they, they not gonna faham that you know yep, yep, yep. they don't understand it's that it's the R&D yeah. the R&D yeah. process yeah, the R &D. Uh, okay so I want to ask like more personal lah. Like, mm -hmm. how were you as a student? Mm -hmm. Like, of course, f coming from Malaysia, mm -hmm. can, and then going to a country like Paris, mm -hmm. and, I mean, country like France, uh, have to speak in, uh, you know, Their French language, language yes, yes, yeah. and all that. So, how did you, like, adapt to the situation there? And at the same time, I want to know, like, how was your character as a student? Did you have a lot of friends? Were you like a mm -hmm. cool type, a cool dude, that kind of mm -hmm. thing? Or how were you? Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm a uh, master in Malaysia. I kind of like, bef I was quite young until I think age of 15, I'm kind of quiet, mm. you know? So when I 16 onwards, when I liked the music videos and the fashion, I was like more loud. Uh, loud. And then my parents actually, Beginning, they don't support me. As soon as the school gave me school fees free, my mother knew already. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. So my mother even proposed me a room and then she gave me area to work. Machine mm. apa you nak beli, second hand you beli. Mm. You know, that so is very important. So she supportive after supportive. that. Yes, they are really supportive. Mm. Yeah, so they're, they're both parents. That's why it's a blessing also. So saya sampai di Europe. I memang, uh, one thing I think diverse mm. is penting kerana 
to me in masa di Malaysia I have a lot of uh, Chinese Indian Malay friends we hang out together we curse each other together <laughs> we do everything together so you know so uh, sampai situ I'm not afraid you know mm. walaupun uh, uh, they all you know you're talking about France uh, 30 years ago 30 years ago you have to learn the language I have to write my own check to get mm. money out mm. you see uh, so I learned for that you know instead of uh, I go to a simple English uh, country like England. England then I finish it off call it a day but no I I knew this aside uh, upper say na big challenge yeah, yes and I don't care I just took Alien Francais in n- uh, nine months in Malaysia then I off to off to Paris I struggle but I don't care but then 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 I meet a lot of different people but because you see sometimes sesuatu yang kita nak belajar by looking you learned Mm. You don't have to be communicate. So check go to a chaka French half the time. I don't know, but I just looking <laughs> what you do. I already know. I don't know what I want. You know what I mean? So mm. I think sometimes these are the thing is also bagus juga. Yeah. You know, banyak chaka pun. Yeah, yeah, yeah chaka <laughs> banyak. So uh, you know, so hantam saja. Do what you want. You know, the mistake can be the right. You know, then you know. So it's more beautiful lah. Yeah, more beautiful. Yes, I remember I worked so much that the then I also in Paris. That's why I joined the Open European Contest. Yeah. You you remember any you were talking about 1991 yeah but, yeah but you won for 2000 that is yeah. like because there's a there's a there's a title called year of 2000 silk cut oh. so yeah. masa tu macam 91 tu 10 tahun ni wah wow, kita nak sampai per- 2000 ni macam kita nak terbang macam tu lah that's what they think <laughs> so <laughs> millennium eh millennium <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. so everybody is scared and looking forward so they thought that we are going to fly our cars or something like that so many <laughs> people take part and write and join macam itu memang design student student semua memang design semua macam robot punya clothes and all that kind of thing so i still do did a little bit more practical yeah you know but did it look like and, 2000 huh? like no, no, when no, you no. look it's back no no not really i mean now you can still wear it you know but then it was like kind of like it's still very i think futuristic uh, yeah. uh, not futuristic at all you know but only the hair look the silhouette appear to be very lean saja mm. but i use things like uh, lycra easy to move very sportswear <laughs> uh, that kind of uh, appearance tapi dia because i come from asia i memang like shining macam tu mm. so i put some sort of a uh, 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 buttons that appear to be a uh, 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 jewel like mm. rong sang like that like kind of feeling but more cool looking lah mm. uh, so i win the contest the school also offer me to teach the year a first year student wow. unto a flat pattern making wow. clothes yes i teach 16 16 girls in paris wow. and i remember one of the dinner uh, all the years the when you were th- studying you were teaching teaching the first year so wow. i go into my third year sudah mm. so the third year student have a dinner 15 of us so one of the girl from germany so she comes she is probably a spoiled kid who when i met her the year one she came in mercedes with fur you know she looks <laughs> like she does <laughs> look like an 80 years old woman <laughs> but she is 20 plus You know the time in the in the, I think uh, in the eight, late 80s, 80s 90s, 90s. women are appear to be macam rambut blonde yeah. macam ni apa kaya first mu nampak tu sikit lah but by yeah. the time I already very cool I ca- I only like two designers there's Club Mon- Montana dengan uh, Thierry Mugler mm. they are super cool the music are so uh, you know upbeat you know so I tak dapat pergi fashion show pun I duduk kat luar dengan kawan saya dengar music saja kita nak curi curi masuk tapi tak dapat you know so i am so mad you know so that uh, then we waiting for two weeks three weeks bukan macam sekarang is gifted to all everyone here fashion show live you can see already mm. we all have to wait for two weeks or next day newspaper satu gambar ke cover ke if the designer bagus picture, picture. yeah then wait for two weeks one week magazine keluar baru boleh tengok the whole show mm. ah so kita nak tunggu <laughs> yeah. But, different eh? yeah so different different time so yeah, yeah. what want to say Uh, masa tu yang uh, what they call the student when uh, we had a dinner and the a lady uh, this girl the the German girl was saying oh how can an Asian student teaching us in Paris pattern making you know then in in front of 15 of friends but because of I am from a country of diverse uh, what tolar tolar tolerance uh, tolerance we are uh, you know I have a Uh, very high tolerance so i just never say nothing with my wife we kept quiet we went home but she has supposed to be my friend and she talked like that to everyone as if i'm not there you know you talk my behind my back i'm not mad at her because everybody talk behind my back sometimes it's fine you are mad at me now tomorrow is fine uh tapi then the next day everybody call me my god you guys are brought up so well you all know that she exactly talking about you and your i said no it's okay because you know what to me 
why are you bothered about uh, you know i am not bothered about uh, what people think about me yeah. it's, it, they, you know i'm not get affected the orang yang get affected so it's her problem it's nothing to do with me yeah. you know so you you can see yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. but uh, to say the, all this while right this is in the in the university which is super hard to pronounce was it uh, some syndicat de paris uh, union some syndicat some syndicat de paris some syndicat yeah. de paris yeah. that's why I was just now you're saying like it's very hard to, uh, to pronounce I said later when Datuk Sri come he will easily pronounce it yeah, <laughs> yeah. so easy so easy for you yeah, yeah. yeah. but what stand out was actually was it your experience from Malaysia in your pattern flat pattern me making or yes. was it your no it's a flat pattern making and because of uh, uh, the hungry that I have mm. that I constantly want to learn because literally orang pergi belajar baru nak belajar one skirt kalau saya dah belajar one skirt I repeat back at home three times I have my own machine mm. potong so so like when I always ask sometimes uh, people like dyslexic and people yang who already God gave them uh, can read can write The dyslexic, they cannot write. Yeah. They're very focused. I have that half. So I will very focused. I cannot write. By the time I write and take note, it's going to be too long by the time I get the spelling right. So the person who take note, take note, take note, do he repeat back the note? Go yeah, back? Yeah, yeah. When you don't repeat back your note, you forget everything. No True. point. Me, the same thing. I ambil technique too. I balik, I repeat few times. Yep. I do few times. So it's go into my muscle memory. Mm. So the file is inside. Anytime I need, I pull it out. So when I in... Paris, that's how I do. Yes, Malaysia, the training dua ter setengah tahun. Yeah, yeah. I dah pergi situ. I'm a first year, straight jump to second year. No need the first year, skip. Then when contest couple, day and night, I potong, I work, I don't know, I I ask them. So the same time, other a Japan student, Japanese student there and working day and night like a mad fuller. So you also important the team that you work. Mm. Then you have some, like I said, this German girl and some Austrian sitting down there. Yeah, yeah, chuck up, chuck up. Because they are from that country. They were talking about how amazing the fashion week, blah, blah, blah. Nak beli apa? Ah, tu you punya pasal lah. <laughs> I nak buat motor. But in the end, they can't even cut properly. Mm, understand. So that, the school are not stupid. They watch. So then, then they proposed to me because was an American teacher was teaching these uh, first year students. Mm. And then I, I don't know what happened. So that she, she said, can you... Teach the class. So you got paid also for that? Uh, I don't have to pay for my third year. Oh. So I, I get my payment to for my third year. Mm. My father only pay for a year at Paris. Oh, another yeah, sponsorship. Another, another sponsorship. Then you yeah. pay yourself mm. uh, Yeah, that. kind of the school like I contract off. So I teach, you know, like uh, two times a week. Yep. But 16 girls, they love me to death because I don't waste time. I can say it a very Chinese, Indian, Malay style, hantam, betul-betul, <laughs> lesson, you know? <laughs> you know? I say, you 16 girl, I bought, <laughs> this is, uh, macam ini, macam itu, macam ini, jalan. Nak pilih kain, jalan, come. You go to, I bring them to a market to choose the kain. Mm. So you can see that time is a difference. Like, why, banyak orang kata, why the male designers are creating better than the women designers? That oh, time, yeah, they yeah. used to say that. Yeah. Because you know at that time, then I also don't know why. But when I bought America, pergi ke the 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 fabric shop, all the girls design already the skirt. Tapi dia orang pilih the kain untuk them. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Understand? Then the boys, we don't pilih untuk them. We just see what is what's nice, what's nice, what is going to, uh, you know, for their trend or whatever their aesthetic. So then I told the girls, listen. You follow the aesthetic, bukan untuk pilih for you. <laughs> Don't be so selfish, you know. So, you know. Mm. So that's how I, I yeah. And that's how you stand. Yeah. Up. But you know, from there also, you can see that your leadership, punya character tu, daripada quite young age, right? Would you say that? Yes, I was. Yeah, maybe, uh, like yeah. natural, right? Did yourself, ah. Huh? You know, I love to buy a lot of nice clothes, kan? Yeah. Tapi, uh, uh, what I say, macam kat sekolah, sekolah you cannot eat uh, the nasi, uh, you cannot eat the outside food dekat sekolah uh, 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 menengah yep. so dah dah berani that time so I just say eh cikgu makan ni sedap mm. you know how I going to get that so how am I <laughs> going to get money I also want to buy the brooch you know when you see all this duren-duren ke oh pakai baju ada brooch semua saya nak beli juga how to get money so what I do when the thing people cannot get they want more so I just say who want nasi lemak on the way I'm cycle to school right I buy the nasi lemak 30 cent I sell 50 cent at school mm. <laughs> So, so entrepreneurship so, was with so, you since young. Yeah. So mm. I also sell, then get the money. So I eat the teacher's noodle. And oh. then the, <laughs> so you and, uh, like an entrepreneur already. Yeah, yeah, you already yeah, started yeah. training. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So because I'm hungry. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But think, what what actually made you hungry? Uh, Is it just the, your sense of 
uh, wanting all this um, yes. expensive stuff? Uh, yes, beautiful but, stuff. Yeah. Yes, you know. So my mom, uh, she works and she break it down to me very carefully. Mm. She never, uh, she after SRP, which is what? During our 14, time. Yeah. <laughs> I think age of 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Our time like so, uh, yeah. so I have to go to work for a month and a half in a, in a business shop, the car engineering. Wow. Uh, so to and so she makes us hungry, you know, to mm. work for it. Then I worked also the first pizza hut in Malaysia in, oh. uh, in, in, in PJ. What, so as a pizza maker? Uh, first as a waiter. And because we he opens it so uh, new pizza, so banyak orang. So then the waiter sudah, I, I, they give me a very tight pants. Oh my god, you know. Then I do the waiter. So <laughs> all my friend came and laugh at me. Then, <laughs> then the kitchen needed me. But to me, everywhere I work, the boss want me to stay. Yeah. Mm. They want to say because to me, in back of my mind, I know what I want. But now, even though I work with somebody, I say when I leave, they must want me. <laughs> you know what I mean so I work I, when I went to macam kerja kat the back they only uh, the kitchen of pizza for example they call me they only have two soups people order two you do the soup after mm. immediately finish soup I won't stand there I will start to help the kitchen to prepare the mm. prepare the what do you call the pizza yep. so it's actually you always it's, exceed expectations uh, yeah, uh. so that exactly yeah. you know don't talk so much <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, at, at the end of the day action and delivering but yeah. you know so don't say how much you can do you know You later over deliver is better, I think. Yep. You know, yep. so I do. Then they drive. Then for a few months, I know that after my the time I still was studying in uh, accountant. So I just like, oh no, I don't like my school. At least the pizza hut make me happy. So, <laughs> so I did four hours I want to work, but I end up work eight hours again because the kitchen you need to clean, mm. but the tak masuk account. So mm. you only pay you. Yes, yeah. So I still work. I don't care. Mm. You know what I mean or not? My mom said to me once, you, you know, when you sick. You work, you die. But if you don't have sick, you will never die. No matter how you work, also. So, Understand? yeah. So I just work. So basically, uh, apa apa you buat, semua yeah. bersungguh-sungguh. Yeah, I think right? the character. Yeah, the character. And like, like mm. that's why I think uh, when you talk about later, we're going to talk more about your brand, Benet Chandra, yeah. Right? Yeah. But that's why I think when you uh, believe Benet Chandra, it's always you you a piece get, of you yeah, yeah and you get uh, <laughs> you dia memang dapat exceed your expectation yeah, lah yeah. Yeah. Kind of, which yeah. is why uh, dia punya price pun exceed people <laughs> <laughs> but no no yeah. good, good, good. no so yeah, when you ask me the hard question later i also can explain to you why yeah. you know mm. but i still beat and tells you that sometime you never know Uh, you still get undervalued. <laughs> yeah, still, still cheap lah. Like, you are saying yeah, the yeah, thing yeah, is still cheap lah. Yeah, technically. Yeah, technically, yeah. 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 So technically, you should charge more expensive lah. Uh. Yeah. Supposedly. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you know why? Because you see, uh, that what you pay for sometimes, uh, they call it in the, the big brand, is still that uh, every of you wearing the same thing and get the same thing. Mm. You, and all of us know how much it is. Yep. Mm. But you get it from me, nobody knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And you are Uh, only you, uh, you only have it for yourself well, and yep. yeah. so it's, you might not tells you the value now maybe in 20 years from now you say why didn't you get it 50 of those yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> an art piece, yeah. Uh. have you ever think some of the brand that you see now that that time is nothing right today is like you can trade yep i even tell a banker why should i invest on you were telling me all this investment this investment that lebih baik aku beli bag yang tu H2 I kata ha ha 3 4 bulan kau nak dia PR so I would actually uh, keep it for 6 months I can sell almost double the price you know as a reseller I said yep, to them yep. you know what I mean so the banker was like that you know shop I just say you know practically I was telling them so sometimes you know like now is everything is about Southeast Asia you know what I mean not it's about Southeast Asia so that you can see Uh, that's why I said, uh, bagi saya, I don't know what is going on, but I know something good about Southeast Asia is coming. Yep. So we watch out for the people who who treat their brand seriously and working on it. And it will something come out? You yep. know what I mean? Yep. It will be our turn, definitely. Yeah. True. It's a growing mm. market. Uh. Yes, yeah, it's a great yeah. market. It's coming. And then we are learning very fast. 
we keep learning. That's why we go to Western world. We study. We study why they they doing this and doing that. We learn. Yep. We nak belajar. Kita kena maki pun. Kita belajar. You say over the dinner, they maki me without even feeling anything, yeah. right? So you take it and we learn. But they in return, they tak nak. They always do, ah. Cakap. Ah, cakap. Ah. They just put it aside. They always think that we we still don't know anything. So, yeah. uh, Our time will come. It's it's their <laughs> loss, <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, But that's right. that's to say, just for the viewers, ah, I I think what I tank up from your story, right, is that your vision to be a fashion designer and mm. to make to be the best version of a fashion designer mm. was very clear. So that everything else was like a means to an end, just to upgrade yourself. Mm -hmm. So whenever you went to the school and all that. It's more just to acquire the skills, yes. acquire the skills, right. so yeah. that you can do what you want to do. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Because there's is a saying also saying to do but not to learn is not to do. Right. Yes. So Correct. like a lot of students, they go to uni and all this. They just study, go through mm. the modules, mm. but they actually don't know what go they're going to do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you, for for your case, is you go there, you really okay. That's how you do it, and mm. then mm. you're going to practice it because you know what what you want to do with it. Yeah. Right? It, It's totally correct, and the same as you grow older, also you. I just want to share it to the nation, to everyone. Uh, why my teams all work for many years with yeah. me? Because I I keep teaching them. I'm afraid they don't learn. Yeah, you know. I always say I don't even tell my children that in, in Brunei China the next future creative director can be anyone, but their focus, their they 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 desire for it. I will. I will work with them. Yeah. They will run the the business. You know what I mean or not? They, they, they I mean, creative side of it. You know what I mean or not? Mm -hmm. You can be as my son, but you can just get some share only lah. Yeah lah. I believe yeah, though. So I think uh, the biggest gift that I can get, you know, you can be, I can have a million dollars or whatever. I can do all these donation, but it's just like come and go. But the creation, what I learn my skill, if anybody want to learn, And everything, I think it's, it's the biggest gift. Mm. You know, that when my it's end of my life, priceless. I think, yes, the end of my life is what the best I do is uh, teaching them how to fish rather than give them a fish. Yeah. Mm. You know, so that is, uh, that's why, why uh, so many exhibition and everything the past few, uh, uh, after COVID, I did push it. And you said that even 2014, you could pekan. Why? My friend even asked me, why are you doing the jungle? Why mm. I'm doing this? Because I learned through exhibition, They come into the space and see the collection, their own sweet time without any disturbance. Everybody have something to learn for yeah. themselves. Both of us can look at one of the major painting. You know, for example, we look at one of the uh, the artists in Malaysia. You yeah. know, so we can we can look at Amis Wave's artist, and you can take it maybe the color palette for you. To me, his technique today. So we take it differently. Yeah. You know, so we must inspire them and and and. We've been Malaysian. We've come long way. We ups and downs, a lot of things, but we shouldn't give up. We yep. keep on drive them, you know. So I see through from my children and through their friends, you know. So I, I, I am very drive to. Want you also to, learn from from and them. From them, and and I know what they desire, what they yep. want, you know. And we calm them down a little bit. Don't get upset. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think should we go for a break? Yeah, break. Yeah, I think uh the f this is the first uh first segment and yeah. first half of the talk. I think we've we've gotten to know you a little, little bit more. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think after the break we want to talk more about Bernard Chandran as a brand, uh, and yeah. we have some other interesting questions for you also. Like, oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So kepada semua uh, penonton apa cerita, uh, catch us after the break dan episode ini dibawakan khas oleh <laughs> Usadita. Usa All right, welcome back to Apa Cerita. Welcome We are back, back, welcome back. With the king of fashion, fashion. in Malaysia, yes, uh. Datuk Sri Bernard Chandran. Yep. All right, so now we're going to dive uh, dive deeper into the brand. Yes, yes. I think that is something yang I think a lot of people uh, definitely know the brand already. Betul. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of people are curious about macam mana how it started and all that. So what want to take it away? Yeah, but before that, we want to uh, remind again episode hari ini di istimewa dibawakan oleh Usanita Senang Berhad sebuah platform networking untuk sahawan Malaysia. Boleh layari www.usanita.com untuk maklumat lanjut. Alright. So the first half up We learn a lot, right, mm. from uh, Datuk Sri. Especially the during the break also, we said that <laughs> you have full of energy and you shared <laughs> a little bit about 
how you like to drive, <laughs> drive uh, people and forget about whatever happened and all this, right? So after working in Paris, uh, and also you return to Malaysia and open your first ladies wear shop in KL Plaza in 1993. One, I was one years old. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even yeah. born. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Yeah. 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 But we're not saying, we're not saying you're senior or anything. Se- yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. They said, even you say, it's no effect for me. <laughs> <laughs> I am, no, I'm fabulous. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So the viewers out there, yeah, we can, later we can ask, what's your secret? Yeah, Yo, because even when you walked in today, kita pun tengok, yeah, yeah. You, you don't look, uh, you know, because we did your research, but you yeah. don't look your, your age, you know? Thank you, thank so, you. Yeah. Basically, you quickly built a client base that included the elite and royalty of Kuala mm. Lumpur and even Brunei. What makes the Bernard Chandran brand unique apart from everything that we've heard? It's no surprise. Mm. But from from what do you think that actually made um, you special? Yes. Uh, when I went leave Malaysia to Paris, I, uh, I mean to Paris, I thought I was going to be Paris. I don't come back to Malaysia. Yeah. Mm. When I in in Paris, I realized we have amazing uh, uh, culture and tradition, you know. What you study in Paris is about not beside all this craft and good uh, card and everything, but at the same time also they value their tradition, their culture. Mm. That's what they their design. heritage, yeah, yeah, their heritage, and they make it immaculately beautiful, and they really appreciate that. But from the ground itself, they've been taught from the kindergarten, you know, do not touch this, can touch that, go to the museum, and all that being trained when very young. So when I sometimes see when we do an exhibition, our kids are running all around, you know, the parents are not guide them and all mm-hmm. that. So so all this I see, I say that, you know what? Malaysia need me. <laughs> I need to go home. Mm-hmm. You know, I told my wife, really, four years enough, I think it's a great opportunity there. So I'm going to be the new uh, like, for example, you can see all the designers, like, for example, Madame Chanel, Madame Grey, all of them are there in their 1900, you know, mm. 1920s. They worked very hard too. Yep. You know, some of the brand take, you know, three generations to become who are they now, you yep. know. So that's why we appreciate them. The same thing, I think that if I don't start now, nobody going to start. And already kan tadi I dah kata, Nobody even believe I'm going to ha- open a show. I don't know uh, the the store going to like half store <laughs> half, <laughs> <laughs> half store with gula gula hacks. Ke? I yeah. don't know. But I have this dream. I say I'll, I'll take this business as serious as as must inspire other parents look at me and they will let their children to go and do fashion mm. without being worried. You wanted to pave the way. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That, because it's tough for me. You know, even though my parents, thank God they are mixed parents, they at least give. Some of the parents I hear, my friend, they don't. They can't. The Indian family, they can't. You know? So, uh, that's why I came, be married, seriously, have kids, you know, and started this business, you know? But it's all, again, Aida Jakab, you must dream. Yeah. You know? All royal family, ke, a macam a pattern, ke, getting married, the wife, like that, having a lot of children, it's not just like that. I dream and I planned. When I'm very young, I always say, oh, I want to have a wife like that. And she must be dignified. You know, she's my wife. She constantly support me. So I attract women mm. like that, mm. you know. But at the same time, she also love. Basato, I thank, uh, what do you call? I'm very g- grateful to my parents. They actually send my wife together with me. Kita mm. bernika, not bersanday. We go. So we can, I work there as a, a fashion designer, uh, learning uh, the craft. Meanwhile, my wife did some modeling. So that uh, we can live a little bit comfortably. Then we came back together, have children and start the life. So, sekarang di rumah, cara, you know, not say anything. Uh, we have our adat and all our tradition. But it's also nice to see the Western world when you learn their traditional. Uh, nasib kita pun quite good. We stay in a fam- French family's house for for few day, uh, few, a few months. Then juga tengok adat, uh, how they... Uh, carry themselves, uh, 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 treat themselves, and dinner and family together. So, so we mix a little bit of European, a little bit of uh, of uh, our traditional. You know, like my mom all the time. Ah, diam diam makan cepat cepat cepat. That's all. Mm-hmm. This is the Chinese style of eating. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Cannot talk so much, but you know that kind of thing. So now, saya di rumah. I want to have a little bit of European style. Maksudnya, uh, sit down together, have a long conversation. 
You know, so we have or sometimes uh, sampai dua jam kita makan together. Oh. So we have, uh, yeah, that is also to understand them, you know, and then also allow the uh, anak kita cakap not impose on our ideas and our style sahaja. Hmm. So we also berjam, sometimes I, I talk, saya cakap banyak, tapi I can hear my children's conversation for an, an hour and a half from my daughter. So all these things I absorb and I also practice it. Hmm. So Anna, my son's friend come also, they feel good and comfortable. So I allow them to come, enjoy and do. Of course, kita pun jahat juga when young, we allow them to have it and do some mistake. Hmm. You know, so uh, that's why I say why my wife is with me also is good. So started the business and it's not easy. So mm. how, how did you start it? Uh, when you came back to KL, using your your money that you got from from Paris ke? Uh, no, uh, no, I, listen. I didn't even started like, what do you think, open a book tea or whatever. Yeah. I just started with, uh, you know, in Jalan Gurni, I moved out with my wife because memang I'm a mother's boy. And when you already have the wife already empat tahun di luar negeri, you felt independent. Yeah. You know, so saya nak my own space. But yeah. I don't care walaupun kampung ke rumah atap pun, I don't care. So in Jalan Gurni, I found a room a kind of a space, uh, downstairs, orang bawa motorbike, upstairs is a, is, is, is a way I live, yeah, rumah kedai like that, with my wife, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. How, how'd you get, like your wife is a supermodel, yeah. and willing to stay with you? Yeah, I mean, that's why we call it thick and thin, a lot of people thin, don't see yeah. that the part that, you know, the only thing that we're going to wear a new, beautiful outfit, and yeah. have a, 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 you know, a wonderful friends, no. You know, she's, that's why she's, uh, uh, I don't know how to say it. She's super amazing and I think I'm very, uh, what do you call, uh, lucky man, you know. So Niat maybe have to be good, all of us. So that's why we will get a wife because I'm drive. She's down, I drive her. When I'm down, she drive me. So mm. that's, itu yang paling penting, you know yep, what I mean? Yep, yep. And uh, bagi saya challenge juga, you know what I mean? A lot of, now you see a lot of cases macam, baca rai lah ini lah, you know, no. So if you give up that, maksudnya, you're weak. You know, mm-hmm. so I constantly fight. That means what? Your son have issues that you want to leave it? We have to fight till the end. Yep. So that's why, I mean, kalau cakap orang kata keluarga tu perfect, I don't know lah. Mm-hmm. But my keluarga is not perfect, but we work it. Yep. You know what I mean? Make it work. Yeah, I, think, uh-huh. I think interesting what you're saying because kat Malaysia ni, I think now, I think mungkin pasal a lot of celebrities pun getting divorced and mm-hmm. whatnot. Mm-hmm. The, apa, the establishment of marriage tu dah jadi macam easy je. Mm-hmm. Orang nak lepaskan kan? Yeah. But I think, you need to understand that actually orang dulu-dulu lah especially yeah. they go through this yes. thick and thin. Yep. Thick and thin. That's yes. why they yeah. become yes. stronger together. Yes. But today people kalau susah sikit suami susah sikit they just yeah. like you know. But the susah my mother also will tell me my dad also tell me you think that I don't argue with your dad you know mm-hmm. we argue we don't even show it to you guys. Mm-hmm. You know the same thing what we do we have another issue you know sometimes uh, differences you know then kita kena beri masa Then they put the ego down, mm. and you will, uh, there's a time you will come, you gram, but there's a time you cool down a little bit dulu. Then you will somehow, you patch it back even deeper. Mm. Keep going on that. So, itu contoh kepada anak kita. How do you want your anak to be in the future? Mm. Like you also gave up, you constantly gave up. So, that's why I say, buatlah sikit merat, marathon ke, try to learn, tu kena sabar lah. You know, kau menangis-nangis pun. <laughs> you still, still, you do it. You know, so, you know, uh, I think that the process that I want to uh, uh, sit on it, you know, mm-hmm. sit on the problem. So, seperti macam, like uh, I said again, like uh, uh, in fashion, there's a lot of issue ups and down in my career, you know, but I sit on the issue. So, uh, so, uh, yeah. I think, you sort it yeah. out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you did mention, right? Right to see, you did like triathlon and all that. Mm. Was that all also similar to to show an example to your to your kids? Uh, oh. I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, what? Uh, absolute, Maybe you want to uh, bring it back, skate story pasal triathlon tu. Tadi kita cakap uh, belakang uh, kan? Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. Tri- triathlon tu is just happen to be I do a lot of workout. Mm. Yeah. So the I masa I buat tu, I seriously put put some budget. Okay, I want the gym instructor. Kat, 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 kat the, what do you call in the gym? I go to gym. I bought gym kat situ dengan gym instructor. So, kita ni human, we have, I call prime dime shift. Mm, so, paradigm some shift. Uh, paradigm shift, yeah. Sometimes, you know, everything so smooth, so perfect, like that, you need to switch a little bit. Mm. Like a home also. You tak boleh, walau bagaimana, your, uh, your, your, that's why the Chinese call it feng shui, kan? Mm, yeah? Feng shui. Uh, so, uh, uh, macam you need to move a little bit a year after or six months, year. it's good to move, you know, so that, that something changes. So, sebelum, if you don't change, nature change you, hopefully it's good, it's not good how, you know what I mean? So, I, macam, sometimes I bought kat rumah, 
So dah uh, setahun Jen change the tempat pergi ke gym, drive the motorbike, go to the gym. So you keep on changing, you feeling good. So then after keep on doing gym, then the, the, the instructor introduced me. As I said just now tadi kan, cut long story short. Then I saw, oh my God, orang buta pun buat triathlon. Kita bolehlah cuba. So we cuba and I hooked. So masa I buat triathlon sekali, okay, dua kali. Then the third time I do, I start to lompat to the sea. I dah menangis. <laughs> What the hell? Why I'm a fashion designer? Why am I doing this sport? It's not my business. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you know, what, you know, four miles swimming, then come back, you know. You know, mm. 90k uh, cycle. Then you have a half marathon to go, marathon full yeah. marathon to go. So it's like a... Oh my god, then you see ma- the best part. Sendiri, yeah. uh, 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 <laughs> kalau <laughs> anak saya kat situ, keluarga saya kat situ, takkan you nak give up halfway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, so, they came to cheer you on. Oh, lah. cheer me on. So, you know what? I'm the one who running 16 hours. You are taking a flight to London. You dah sampai, <laughs> I still running. Oh my god. It's yeah. true, yeah. It starts at 8 o'clock. I finish at 7 o'clock evening. You know what I mean? Then, you know, people are doing even later. So, it depends on the timing, kan? So like uh, some, the best part is dai lari lari dah dah tak nak nak jatuh so you pass the what do you call uh, you pass by the what do you call the finishing line you can see the guys say oh itu dah tak mana lari bagi semangat so you start to you know my show off lah sikit dia yeah. <laughs> cannot lose what <laughs> cannot, <laughs> cannot stop so that is uh, i think that drive me you know mental toughness you know mm. what i mean or not So so sekarang buat sesuatu pun I never give up easily. Mm. You know so I drive I push that's why I encourage people do a bit sport. So of course now uh, berumur sikit so I will do more yoga. I think it's important to <laughs> to understand the body, you know. So uh, feeling secure itu uh, making yourself a little bit by I think I am kind of very confident of myself. I don't yep. care what people's opinion. Masa saya muda, I tengok fashion a uh, music video. I like to wear all this, like all this uh, duren-duren punya baju. Even I pergi designer masa tu, my time is like Edmund Sir. I suruh dia buat baju sekolah, taruh padding, mm. seluar plit lima kat, kat, kat my yeah. you know. So, my teacher used to take the ruler, eh, apa ni baju perempuan? So, whole school laugh at me. I pandang atas. Then I go to the toilet, I cakap dengan kawan saya, engkau orang, Isa rokok, get high. But I pakai baju, I get high lah. You know, so you know. <laughs> so these are the things that I get used to it. Mm. So I know sometimes people will look at me, play or whatever. I I can't be bothered. Mm. So I shock sendiri. You know what I mean? So, you know, you get affected. It's your issue. Yep. You know, so these are the things that I think um, drive me to, you know, till mm. today lah. Well, mm. Okay, Atuk Sri, just now you said uh, dreams are free. Yeah. So dream wildly. Okay, and then I think I think like m- yourself when you have achieved many of your dreams right mm-hmm. uh, for example today you address royalty from Brunei and Malaysia and also international celebrities like Michelle mm-hmm. Yeoh mm-hmm. Lady Gaga Estelle like mm-hmm. what I mentioned just now Tori Amos uh, Sherry Blair which is mm-hmm. Tony Blair's uh, wife, wife yes, can, yeah. which is insane lah yeah. these are the the, the global mm-hmm. names can, and Indian beauties such as Lara Dutta mm-hmm. and also so, Sumita Sen yeah, yeah. yeah. so How does it feel to have such big names and celebrities wearing your designs? To me, it's like, um, how do I say it, you know? When you when you're already dream the platform, when it comes to you, you don't feel kind of nervous or thinking right or wrong. It's more like... Thank you. Uh, uh, you make... Yeah. <laughs> 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 Be grateful, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. uh, so what I think that is, uh, you you want to, when you have this dream, you must prepare yourself first. Mm. That's why you dream. You pre- mm. How can royalty want to see your clothes, but you're not prepared, you're going to go to the bottom. You know, so I start to already make my clothes is... Already for people to wear like that. Mm. Even I used to say the royal family, the people will bow to my clothes because it's so beautiful. No. I, yeah, I even imagine like that. My staff think I'm mad. I put it into a dummy. I just say, oh, they will bow to my clothes. Oh. Oh. Say, really? I really do that. You know, I, I really do that bef- even, before even before I meet before. anybody. Yes, mm. when I'm age of like uh, 25, 26, you know, oh. before the royal three thing. So you, say, you look at my clothes, huh? they will bow, you know, they stand and bow to my clothes. My my staff really think I'm mad, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you think that's why I say you think beyond. Mm. So then when it happens, I, it's very natural to me. Mm-hmm. So that's why I, I try to tell my children. So if you do your exam right, you study everything. When people ask you a question, it's effortlessly you speak. You know what I mean. Sure. So so the same thing like what you practice every day, 
wedding clothes so that any important wedding you don't rush you also effortlessly put it in mm. so so that's why I dream big and I shop sendiri I always dream even now mm. uh, instead of you pull out your phone and look at something sometimes I sit down there tenganga to think about I uh, yeah. you know I'm like they're dreaming you know, yeah they're dreaming you know I and my grandson doing something you know that he only want me to bring him to the museum mm. <laughs> you know what I mean so we are talking about this you know we're talking about probably purchasing the Mona Lisa why not <laughs> yeah, like okay some uh, I just want to ask right like working with all these uh, international celebrities mm-hmm. semua, kan, do you actually have to pay them to wear your clothes or not for, at all I don't even pay because uh, my ROI do they have is to important pay you? Huh? do they have to pay no, you no because I have uh, what do you call my international uh, PR, PR. Mm. Yo, so I just do what I do mm. is what I do so that they will present it for them to just say, okay, because sometimes they have concert, they have something like, for uh, you know, they look at my lookbook. Mm. So whatever fit them, like for example, whatever fit them, they will say, can they loan? They have to go through my agent to to, uh, loan, to, to loan them and they return it back. Sometimes like the guy, they need extra, but I give them a good price. Mm. I charge, you know what I mean? Or not. <laughs> but whatever in my collection, you can loan. That's why whatever you see, Uh, uh, my exhibitions, all the clothes, whatever fashion show, what I do from the day when I say I work in the museum, I understand what after the show, the clothes are goes back to us. When I do a fashion show, you see, I don't sell my clothes. Uh, the clothes are for the press or for the celebrity to wear it and return it back. After six months, it goes back to our archive Archiver. center. Mm. Yes. So today you can talk about uh, 30 years of black outfit, burn and make. I will show you You talk about 30 years of print of uh, uh, Bernard Chana, I can give it to you. So all the uh, celebrity wear, we will make and sometimes have a special, uh, uh, special uh, what do you call, uh, event or whatever. They are sponsor. We thought it's potential. Then I give. You know, mm. I, will, I, will, I will make it to you. It's mm. fine. You know what I mean? So, so many of the celebrities, we do make some. Like for example, Tori Emmers, some we loan her, but for her tour concert, she needed the whole series like that. You know, I cannot, you know, but I give you a, good I give price. you a very good price, you know, with the, the stylist who discussed with me. Yeah. Mm. Then do you have it. to go and fit them and stuff like that? Or? No, no, no. I don't have to because like, uh, we have the side. Right? Yeah. Stylist will do everything for me. It's mm. better. Then I just invited for me, like, for example, I went to Tori Emmons. I get to go to the backstage and see whatever they do. It's mm. just like, you know, mm. uh, you it's know, a like nice, a friend. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, no like, pressure. And nothing I, I saw that you're friends with Michelle Yeoh also, right? Yes, because yes, I know her. Friends? Yeah, long time ago I know her. Like for example, uh, even two uh, two zero four. Like she already, I already gave her clothes mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. wear when she James Bond time. Even I remember we both. She invited me in London that we both. Uh, I be her. What do you call a partner to go to the her James Bond all the James Bond ladies for an event as well? Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's like a you know I've known her for a long time. So it's like okay, she's a very good example. Mm. Yeah, she also just do her thing. She drive, she do her thing. So the Riziki come means is come. She also very positive. Whatever she get, she never. You know, second role, ke, first role, ke, she just do her best. Yeah. Mm. You know, that's why I like the speech she said, don't let people to say, you are dah masa dah tiba lah, kena retire lah, you never know. Mm. Your your look kena jadi 90 years old punya time, baru your look is amazing. That's amazing. That's why I just say, so this is going to be something that we should just do what we do. We shouldn't go and change our aesthetic for because of you, want, yeah, you want this star. I never driven for that. I never, memang, I will never, I'm not going to pay somebody for that because I think my ROI in the end must kira juga. Yep. You know, apa saya dapat. <laughs> in the end. So this is my design. You have to wear them or see them. You know, it must make you appeal you. Yep. So I think that is, a, that is a, that because it's between me and my clothes yep. and how the rest to see it. You want it? You think it's fabulous? So let's talk a deal. Mm. You know? But yeah. is it is it like a cool thing to like be friends with all this Uh, international celebrity semua-semua yeah lah from daripada Malaysia kan and then tiba-tiba get to be friends with like you know people like that and then people like you know dress people like Lady Gaga apa semua ni kan how okay. I mean do you feel it, like it's a cool thing to achieve? Uh, if you ask me I love my team <laughs> my team that we worked you know after my fashion show finished I I think my team was, uh, my team my stylist my hair person uh, we will discuss about the show how we are on high and our own level 
because we high without drugs. Uh, yes, you can say that. Yeah. Really, <laughs> high like, on life. High some on people life. need to have that to make them mm. cool or create. That uh, that is a sad thing again. You know, you have some people to take something to make them can manage to do that. So I think that is also another uh, situation that I think that 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 I I see is that that I just say no. You know, I just want to find out the truth of myself. Yep. Then. So yeah, so to me is that I'm not judging. I'm not saying that it's maybe you need Panadol, but I don't need <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah. So I'm not mad at no one, you know? Yep. But again, I don't, uh, like for example, it, 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 I think it's a chemistry. Uh, maybe my age, you know? Or maybe that people like, for example, sometimes I don't even know who and who, you know? And then they will say, oh, so... <laughs> I am not with my wife, especially both of us, with the kid, we are not driven by celebrities. Mm. You know what I mean? Not driven by that, yep. you know? So it's... Uh, uh, Would you say like at one point of time you were driven by celebrities also? Or Can I never tell you something? When Lady Gaga came, I said, who? Who? What? <laughs> and then I just said, Google and see her. Oh, should I give or not? Oh, but boy, then I started to call my stylist. <laughs> so then she said, no. I said, why don't you just try, you know? Give it. Then it went boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> no, yeah, I think that uh, like even uh, even like you say, uh, uh, yeah. So I never like a you know believe in believe me yeah. what I said. The more you push, the more headache you're going to be, and the more it won't come. Right? It's your is the key. It Bam. come, it come. Most importantly, be prepared. Do the best of your clothes. They must want your clothes and attracted to it. They put it on. They must feel they are. Her Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they must feel like, yeah. yeah. I think it's the same like how kita selalu, we always say this, uh, we always say we just work on our craft. Mm. Yes. Like perfecting your craft. Yeah, perfect, yeah, yeah. Perfecting yes. your craft. Just work on it. Yeah. yeah. And then so, there's a key will come, come right? Yeah, from anywhere. Yeah. Be natural about it. You know, don't uh, think of, I always tell the young people, when you do your craft, don't think of fortune and fame. Mm -hmm. You know, you more importantly get uh, you know, constantly correcting yourself, make it as effortless as you can, as cool as you can, then the fortune and, uh, you know, fame will come naturally. Yep. Mm. Uh, then you you feel it, you know, mm. believe me, you know. So I also learned that the more I chase, you know, it's a waste of time. In the end, when you get it, so how? Yeah. The next mountain to climb again? Yep. Mm. You know? Yep. Then yep. you're going to cry again. <laughs> so, 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 like I, yeah. <laughs> so now I always say uh, that, let me create, you know, you know, it's, it's tough, you know, it's tough me in the sense of like, you know, that the resources in our country that uh, in, in that that I had to make it easier that we must have the, the what do you call like, kata or like, yes, as just now we said about people, you know, uh, the uh, for the craft. We need all these craftsmanship people. How? You know? Yeah, so, like seamstress. Seamstress all, all, yeah. So that uh, how do we make them think this is something is very uh, uh, proud to work? You know, you work uh, very proudly. Don't think that, you know, if everybody be a doctor, who mm. going to be the nurse? Mm. Yep. Mm. Understand? Okay, let's see. Uh, you are an inspiration to many young designers in Malaysia today. Even uh, one of our guests before, Rizman Ruzaini. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Spoke, nice spoke boy. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. 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 He, the, he appeared in our previous episode. He speaks very highly of you. In fact, when he was in university, people used to call him Bernard. <laughs> he told me that. He <laughs> 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 made everybody call him. <laughs> and of course, you are known as the king of fashion in Malaysia. What are your new ventures? And are you announcing any new collection anytime soon? Oh, yes. Uh, on the 4th, uh, we are showing our... Which is in uh, three days. In uh, no, uh, in three days from our uh, Nila oh, episode. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. In three days, yes. So, will be our uh, 30 years of I mean, in Malay contemporary fashion. Mm. So, I'm going to have a fashion show to have to beat all my 30 years punya collection that I done for uh, all my uh, Baju Melayu, you mm. know, Baju Kurung. So, I keep uh, experiment uh, in every level. From dari segi technique to cuts, you know, to understand the kita punya society. I am very, very, uh, what do you call, grateful juga melihat many designers are keep on pushing and it was a lot of fun, you know. Mm. So, to to do that. So, other exhibition, empat bulan, uh, we will do a, a exhibition and fashion show. So, for all the public, I think we have three days dari lima bulan to five, six and seven full on for them to come and visit free must take this opportunity it's 
Very, very important. Because in the archive, you can see when I start thinking, I never showed my... Everything, eh? Uh, not ever, because we have uh, thousands of pieces. <laughs> yeah, full of blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. So each collection, I'm going to do three pasang, three pasang like that. Your you know? favorites are the favorites. Yeah. I cannot say favorite because when you curate, you understand you have a black and white section, you are the prints, how the prints, dari dulu, I pergi kat, uh, you know, Kamda ke beli, you know, all this uh, uh, Globe Sisto ke beli kai dulu, you know, now as, as, as you change, you know, so now, you know, uh, then become much more contemporary, you know, so bagaimana kita bersulam, sulam pun bertukar, kerawang pun menjadi tukar, you know, so mm. it's like for them to see how it tukar dan apa akan jadi. Mm. And so you you're doing also, the future also, the current lah, uh, the uh, one you're launching. Uh, launching, at the same time also, I nak anak-anak muda tengok, apa kamu nak take it, the ideas, and change it to the way they feel. So mm. I want to see and learn from them. Mm. Understand, yeah, understand. Yeah. yeah, this is, I think, is uh, something like, um, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, it's important. Yeah. When think about the uh, our nation. Yeah, yeah and I think it's, it's also, mm. uh, it's a rare opportunity also, like, especially for fashion lovers, right? Mm. To see like the art piece from day one, from yeah. the king of fashion himself. Yeah. Kerana why this thing happen? Because I also want to encourage designer baru ke, uh, designer yang terlupa ke, or never look at this part, to understand, so many of the people, kita, dia orang tengok benda canda kat foto, gambar, or seperti, saya beri contoh, seperti artis Malaysia kan, banyak famous artis, uh, buat uh, uh, artwork, that we only see their work in Instagram, but you see the real one, in the social media, when you see, you see real, is important, you know? So like, for example, you see, why Mona Lisa became so expensive? Because they are open public, pay 10 euro, you can see all this money, all this uh, Van Gogh and Mona Lisa, you know? So that we never have chance to even see a designer. Why all this big designer brand line punya exhibitions selalu ada? You know, they keep on showing the archives and yeah. the archives, you know, so that people remember. So I think important bagi negara kita, start to keep, our archives. I think the I think the biggest collectors or the person who doing it in Southeast Asia only I think is me, mm. because it's a forty years of effort. You know, people don't understand. So even my wife just said that you have a space, you have to put aircon, dengan camera, dengan all this, and then we have consultant. She tell the consultant, you know, he simpan simpan all his baju, never want to sell, and it's like a, a cost space. to run every month. Space. <laughs> then the, the the lady consultant said, archive is future, is money. <laughs> Just like that. So yeah. my wife, uh, your, your wife's uh, really <laughs> quiet because she's gone. She's also a finance person. What is this? What is this? You know? Yeah. So I think yeah, it's simpan baju lama bawa aircon lah. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lah. yeah. And then you have three person. One person photograph, one person archive the name. And mm. constantly working tabi habis. <laughs> yeah, and then the system change sekarang. One time something burns, so I scared. So I have to have all these... Uh, sprinklers. Uh, because sprinklers, you spoil the baju. <laughs> so I have to have all this like a pattern in one place, uh, inspiration in one place, mm. and then the real clothes in another place. Maksudnya, oh, the oh, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, And then you have all these, uh, what, do you call, uh, what do you call all these new, uh, what do you call, driver. This drive that uh, that you the, the, what do you call uh, uh, data that ah, you yeah, keep drive. in cloud. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. So one in the office, one in my house. So one in hard disk. Hard, all the hard disk. Yes, oh. because you just you you know because things are changing. So you have to change also. So I need to have literally three person doing this. It's a job, twenty four seven. So when we did the exhibition, you just see the exhibition. Macam nampak senang. Ambil patung, ambil baju, letak. No. It's a lot of process, you know. So, so I can uh, like out of thousand of outfit, then we have to sit down and discuss what is the format, tempat dia macam mana, patung pun dah berapa banyak. Mm -hmm. Then you have to, you know, find out all this. Then you cut small, small piece. We put this will go or not, the color go or not. All mm -hmm. the kind of thing are working with the team. Mm -hmm. It's a process that, you know, that's why when you see macam every year when my children studying in America, so I selalu pergi for the mat. Uh, museum to see yep. uh, all these exhibitions and I and my student will just fly to Antwerp to see designers punya exhibition. Yep. So mm. this all uh, macam probably you go and see Qatar football ke? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, mm. say, uh, we also have a fashion brand Petit Moi but, Petit it, Moi? but it's not yeah. as you know as, uh, fine. as prestige but we, we started doing archives about uh, five years ago I think oh, after we went for LV uh, archive so okay. we showed the first 
yeah. back that yes. was done from back then. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of like can understand yeah. and really looking forward yeah. to to the 4th of July, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, please actually, come. Yes, I really, really want to make it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the thing, I just want to ask like, uh, for the public, it will be open on the 5th to the 8th. To the 7th. To the 7th. The will you be Sunday. there also with the public? Uh, most probably, yes. I'll, I I will be around because I have a lot of friends from uh, from France, from India, from Hong Kong. These people are, their parents supported me as a client. Ah. So their parents are passed and their children are coming to support me. And the, some ladies from India who actually constantly supported my my work as well. So they are going to be here. So they're going to be a few days. So I'm just going to go out for lunch for a while and come back come to back. see what's going on. Yes, yeah. Mm, but you'll yeah. be around. Uh. Be, I'll be around. Yeah. So anybody can, uh, I would love to uh, show them a little bit tour. Yeah. You know, it's like nothing like uh, the uh, the person who made them to speak about yeah. the, the, the outfits and the yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm. You can actually get first-hand experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, first yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me when you're around so that, oh, you're coming on the fourth so school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That would be great, we, whichever yeah. time is there. So yeah. shout out to all the viewers. You guys can also come check out. Uh, yeah. the, is there the, any payment for the exhibition? No, it's a free. free. Wow. Uh, and yeah, so that is my... Is my Contribution. Uh, 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 yes, I want to do something for everyone wow, you know, to amazing. enjoy the whole experience. Yeah. No, Our no. job as visitors is just be inspired. Yeah, yeah, be inspired. Yeah, and soak it in. Soak it in. Soak it in. Soak it in. And you know, in, in in different ways, all of them will get inspired. In it, you know, yep. take something back. Is there yeah. any anything special that we should look out for, uh, Ratusri, for the exhibition? Oh, uh, you okay? You okay? I think it's nice to see uh, uh, the print. Yeah. Why the prints are important is about you know about ikan kambung, mangis, mm. and and it's local, la, doing, yes, local, yes. You know what? Uh, the French or anybody they don't see all this so I will show them that like when yeah. I do a fashion week I always sh show them because I, nobody knows that we have nine royal families elected monarchy mm. you know take every five years rotate so I say in my lifetime uh, uh, I seen 10 coronation <laughs> so another one coming soon so I think that is very special a magical moment so all mm. these are, I try to speak in my clothes Understand. to them you know so then they say what print is that why uh, diamond and why mangosteen why you can come bong and all that I will, I will tell them this is from our part of the world you know mm. that we do eat and you know you eat the durian you take the mangosteen it's cool yeah. <laughs> yeah. so it's become a conversation mm. I don't That's need to the, put uh, the yeah right. so it's not like a lot of people thought they're wearing a pound sign mm. the queen of England so it's like it's nothing it's not our pop culture yeah, yeah. yeah. you know so our pop culture is uh, you really <laughs> localize that yeah, yeah yeah and make them Super high class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super yeah. high class. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> three. I think, uh, of course, you've been doing business for the past thirty over years. Yes, and uh, I'm sure you've you've gone through a lot of obstacles in your definitely. Your, your, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I have one question. Right? Yeah. See, like, uh, Dr. Sri, you, you focus on creating. You mm. want all the mm. chantik chante and make it high class. So, but who runs the business? Is it yourself also? or uh, To be brutal honest, yeah. yes, I am. Yeah. Thank God of the account and the triathlon. So I am uh, <laughs> got the bad side of the Chinese and Indian numbers and monies and finance. Yeah, but I'm not the super good one. Yeah. Maybe they help with my wife. But yeah, so she is like more like when she made some money, probably she need to invest in education for the children and buy some property or something like that. You know what I mean? So I'm the more the, oh, invest in jewelry or in, uh, investing in some of the, the uh, vintage clothes. Yes. And all the kind of things. Yes. Some of them, because in our business, we also have to have for R&D, we have to inspire of other uh, colleague uh, outfit, you name it, local designer to uh, any, all the designers, mm -hmm. I will sometimes invest some of their clothes, you know, to put in our archives. Mm -hmm. So when you put it down there, we do something, we just show to our team of staff. So yes, so mm -hmm. all that in the archive is that, I think uh, uh, it have to be balanced. So yes, that's why now I think fine, because you see, Negara kita, I think that it's important to have one person who do your business yeah. and you take care of your uh, your creativity. That's why I'm crying for tea today. I tell my children, I looks like I'm 80% spend my time on business and 20% creativity. So yeah. I want the switch. Yeah. Mm. So I'm bringing my younger generation, my kids are come to to do this do thing for business. me. Yeah, to a business. <laughs> but I think I'm the first generation who actually to um, Mumbai, uh, bring it this, uh, 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 like a uh, fashion to our country, to make people take it serious. Mm. Mm. You know, like, uh, you know, it's a real serious business. 
the same time you know uh, you can do it something like it's a uh, uh, Malaysia can do luxury good craft and identify them macam kering kram so many kerawang everything's uh, sometimes dying off how do we bring it back mm. you know I with, 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 with this beautiful thing we do I hope many people will will take mm. them seriously I'm yeah sure. so then uh, I think uh, uh, thanks to my nasi lemak that I sell so I can <laughs> Know that it works the numbers and you know yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm still very cheap my collection I mean the the clothes yeah <laughs> <laughs> overvalued but yeah. I think that's subjective ah yeah. to some people might be very cheap yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but to some might be quite expensive <laughs> 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 okay so yeah back to my question uh what has been the biggest obstacle or opposition that you had to overcome and what qualities and skill did it take for you to conquer it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, um, and I'm sure like in, uh, during pandemic pun mesti I think must be quite a big challenge for you because you have like big office and all that right yeah, yes fixed cost overhead. Yeah. overhead and you cannot do baju for that time so, yes so yeah. so it's a very quick uh, uh, very uh, you know it's when you obstacle is very very different different department you know different different thing we have an obstacle the most importantly I think is a team of staff you know so as I said again I train a lot of good staff and they're getting old What about the new one? How do you train? Who do you train them? You know, so so you you uh, you have the younger one that they want to be a doctor but they don't want to be a nurse, so they don't understand to become like for example, sekarang kita kata macam orang yang for example a plumber or a driver. They think they are actually is a very low job. Do you know that I have a friend, a driver, very dignified in London, that he wear beautiful tailoring and he's so smart and fit. And he said, "Driver, I am a driver." He proudly said, "You know, he need to know the city of the the the, the country, and then they bring the client in and out. He must know like a half bodyguard like that. So, is not a driver's uh, driver means you think here we think driver means or oh, driver means some low class or whatever you want to think it like that or he's an uneducated person? No, you know, because he enjoy doing that. You know, so the same thing for a craft. I think for a pattern maker, but I'm." Pattern maker means, maksudnya dia akan bought the mold of the baju, the t-shirt, whatever, you know. So they should be proud to think of that. And then that's the training that I, I'm giving them. You know, be proud. Even your J baju, I first thing yang uh, one fan be being pakai baju tu, I straight away go to the two lady who make the clothes. You know, we take 22 meters to cut. We so much of a discussion that I said, be proud. Now it came out, you know, so that you be proud. Tell your grandchildren, or you know, that that you made the outfit. And you cut the outfit, you know. So uh, they, they drive constantly. They also ups and downs. Sometimes, you know, uh, this uh, to me to maintain the craft. I'm, you know, money can come, but talents is the toughest part yeah, to yeah. keep them and then make another younger girl to become a like my staff daughter. They she don't want to be a seamstress. Mm. The mother enough, she said. <laughs> you know, I want to be a designer or tida. That's mm. all, you know. So now. I think that uh, if you 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 uh, be confident, don't feel insecure in life. If you go in, you know, I cannot become somebody I'm not. I want to be a CEO of uh, what this top booking firm. Can I? I cannot. Mm. I'm not interested in these numbers. Mm. I know I can be a fashion designer. You know that kind. So I think you know you cannot be the designer to create. You will never dare to put the metal and the jeans together and sew an outfit. Mm. You know when I say metal and jeans, they think a big piece of metal. No. The metal can be just like you know one millimeter by one millimeter. You mm-hmm. can put together, mm-hmm. so you think it that way. So you can't do that. Then you go the next step down. Be his assistant. Be yep. proud of it. Yeah. And you well paid also. If yeah. you you know and you become a team that the 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 the, the team needs you. When the team needs you, they'll pay you. If the team feel you are a burden, they're waiting for you to get the hell out of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> True. Yeah, so I always say that you know, be useful. If you're useful, we want you. If you're not, then you know, there's mm. a door there. You can go. You yeah. know what I mean? So I think that is the challenge. It constantly drive them, make them come to work positive, looking forward for the uh, uh, what do you call Monday, not looking for a weekend. You know yep. what I mean or not? Mm. So you know that is I think uh, for my children the same. I say you must find a job. You have 50 years to work. Take your time. Yeah. No need to be a fashion designer or what, <laughs> whatever you know. Mm. People don't believe in it. It's okay as long as you get up in the morning first thing you open your eyes. You will want to think and dream about this, yeah. mm. you know. But take it. Don't care what people say. Just constantly find. Even though you go to America, probably you're doing a what a psychiatry. Then you come back. You switch. It's okay. 
You know, I'm not going to mad at you. Cakap, oh, saya dah bayar berjuta-juta. You come back. You kata you nak pergi kutip sampah. <laughs> ha. But it's okay. Maybe he will do it yeah. right. Yeah, but I think hmm. that that is a very important point. Lah. Like, when you decide to be something, you've got to be the best version of yourself. Yeah. At whatever you do, yeah, mm. can you don't have to wait for you to be the boss, yeah, in order for you to do to do exactly, the best. Exactly, exactly. I realized, like from your story also, like even when you were working at Pizza Hut, you yes. were still doing your best, best already, yes. can. Yeah. And that is how actually you attract opportunity in yes. life, right? Because they see you, you drive. You know, if mm. you have that attitude, you climb slowly. Because if the boss don't appreciate the person, I always tell them, you work with me. Uh, I always tell my team openly. My character is like this. Maybe sometime I terlupa. Then I give an example. One of my staff, like Firoz, four years he pay his phone bill for four hundred. I don't know international call. That that masa itu tak ada WhatsApp. Yeah. Then I realize from my accountant that he pay himself. Then I said, for now he don't pay his phone bill anymore for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> so because sometimes I terlupa, so yeah. I gave them that you know. But you know what? You do your step first, and I will do my step. You know what I mean? So it's a uh, you know that that uh, you don't have to reciprocal. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, mm, but you got to give first. Yes, then only you. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, amazing. But even at whatever level, there is something a bigger cause that you are actually building to, right? Like yeah. Ibu Ani Musa, they they said in this one class, right? Uh, mm. Datu Datu Sri, it's like there's a guy that mops the floor yeah. for the engineers to go to space. But mm. when you ask, what do you do here? I send men to space. Mm. You know. Yeah. So, be, but it's just a. Uh, if you think the typical way what people yeah. think is is a cleaner cleaner right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, I make sure this hall is clean so yeah. that it's spotless yeah. that the engineers when they come they don't fall they don't need mm. so that they can send people to, exactly, uh, to yeah. space something yeah, like that I'm not even mad at people they say oh uh, I nak hantar kain kepada tailor saya Bernard Chandra I don't care. Uh, you know, you can say anything you want, Taylor. Yeah. Girl, <laughs> you know, they will say that. Yeah? Are you sure you don't care? <laughs> no. but, 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 you know, you know what? I always say to to everyone. You know what? So now we are talking. I just walk out of this door. You mowing behind my back. It's nothing to do with me. Mm. I don't know. Mm. It's normal. Sometimes you know, my mother and unhappy with me. She be about. I mean, talk about me in front of my sister. You know, and my 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 wife will talk about me in front of my son. Do I care? I don't hear. It's okay. You know what I mean? Tapa, I tell my staff. I datang masuk. I geram marah. I dah keluar. Engkau maki maki lah saya. So you know, you release your attention. You know. So sama juga. You know. So all of us. So if you know this thing around, you behave. Mm. You know what I mean or not? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> keep it, keep it real. Yeah, keep it real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is life. Yeah, yeah. that's why. <laughs> it's alright. That's why that's a medicine to be feel youth. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is three. You are doing a Malay contemporary fashion, mm -hmm. but you are not a Malay. Can mm. <laughs> why Malay contemporary fashion? Are you trying to try it or take advantage of the Malay market? Um. Uh, I think you cannot say that because uh, <laughs> I am a Malaysian, very proud Malaysian. Mm. I think that is a beautiful silhouette. You know what I mean? Even though if I'm in India or I'm in China, I will make work it. You know, because I think uh, when you are create, when you are, what do you mean uh, as a creator creating the anything you see is inspired. You just do it. Mm. So I think these are the very normal question. You are normally why do you need a Malay to? Uh, to do Malay, mm. you know, I'm I am in Malaysian. I see that, and I'm living in a house of Indian Chinese. Mm. Both of them also a big time different uh, culture. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Not, and then you know, coincidentally, you look like Malay also. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, yeah. yeah. Chinese, you end up jadi this. <laughs> so I think that uh, is I uh, also uh, my when I come back. Obviously, I love to do. I love winter looks. To be honest, because layering, beautiful coat, oh, yeah, yeah, leather yeah, jacket, actually. I love it. But when I come back to Malaysia, memang saya buat macam tu, tak jadi pun. Hmm. Nobody gonna buy. Siapa nak pakai? Yeah, siapa nak pakai? Then yeah, when yeah. I see in Europe, yang saya dah kata, I have a guy that you become so patriotic. You go to Malaysia. You see Malaysia ada uh, in a twin tower, blah, blah, blah. You can see there's a club, it's all very update, very nice. The first thing he came and told me, I said, how's Malaysia? He said, people dress up macam sama je semua baju. <laughs> baju kurung macam sama je. You know, like the baju batik, oh sama pun je silhouette. Yeah. So I took it personal. So I said, I'm to go back. I'm going to recreate them. So it take me 10 years to do the collection. 10 years means in the sense of like, saya tak boleh buat full on fashion show. But to put on fashion show to tell you aesthetic of Baju Melayu, it takes a while. 
So I need to have a full, uh, you know, consistently. Bukan I buat show hari ni, next year, pasal tu, you can see 30 years consistent I ada. Mm-hmm. You know, the collection. So that's why I call it Petang Raya, year 2006. I can afford to do three collection. Two, uh, in uh, the time I was doing in uh, London Fashion Week, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Plus, I said I cannot do other country, but I don't do my country. So that's my contribution, not say contribution. That's my uh, dream to do that. So I do sebelum Hari Raya, dua bulan, satu bulan, I do that. So year 2006, I started, started. Call, uh, I started called first Petang Raya, I call it. Because to me, Petang Raya, why do you ask me why Petang Raya? Mm. Because to me, the Raya day, first day, I always see I bangun lambat, petang pun, <laughs> everything is like a lot of sun. Then we all started to wear all the baju, go to our friend's house. Mm. You know what I mean? So to me, it's like a Petang Raya, not morning or not night, you know? So so that's why I call it Petang Raya. And for eight years, lapan tahun kita buat sendiri. Then you got a lot mm. of publicity. Masa tu, I memang can afford to do the show. I dah ada full on customer. I don't have to do the show. I pun dah fully book. The reason why I do the show, because I realized why we do London Fashion Week, we show our creation every year. Like seperti doktor ke, uh, any accountant ke, whatever business you are, you need to do every year, you need to go for some sort of conference to drive you, to push you, kan? Yep. That's why you go to the conference. Yep. You like broadcast, you need to update yourself, to, you need to find out what is going on. You know, who's your guest? So the same thing to me is doing a fashion show is pushing me to update myself. This year we did like that. Next year I had to push better. Takkan customer nak cakap, I suka baju you last year. You know, you want them to say, oh, I love this one. Then the next one. So it keep on pushing you. So for eight years, I also want this press to come, buat show ni, dia ambil gambar, put it outside. You know, because many years in my experience, masa I buat show-show, I, I pakai, uh, or even though I'm not full baju kurung show, kalau normally I buat show pun, I, just now I say, adalah sikit office wear, baju kurung, batik, then evening gown, bridal gown kan? Yeah. When you start, you want hantam semua sekali in one show. As time goes by, seriously, you want to focus. So when the show, I bought, sometimes my kebaya use six meters. People started to say, dia gila buat show baju kebaya 6 meter. Because they are rigid. They want to do 3,5, 4 meter. Buat baju kurung. How far you can go? Your sleep pun tak boleh naik. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Tak cukup yep. kain, kan? Yep. Yep. So, <laughs> my baju kurung now, 12 meters for one sarong. What? Yes, exactly. So, that's how it pushing boundaries. So, that that we are doing that. So, the press will take the picture. To me, the our idea was, the more designer, the better it is. So we all will be not lazy. We push boundary. Yep. Kalau you tak ada competition, tak ada orang lari, you will become lazy also. I want to live in this world with full of fun and challenge. Yep. So yeah. So I I bought show so that the orang, all this kedai kecil ke, my colleague, designer, friend ke, semua ke, they get inspired. They will do something, they push. So that's people started to push. You know, kedai-kedai kecil ke, tukang jahit, whatever, whatever pun, buat baju kurung sudah ada sikit design. Yeah. You know, ni orang jual kain pun dah lebih sikit. Tak payah three and a half, four and a half. You know, this is actually, is a domino yeah. effect. You yeah. know what I mean? So you affect everybody. So so you go to Raya, sekarang you are pushing boundary. Yep. You tengok celebrity pun nak pakai gila-gila. It's good. Nice, not nice, is opinion. Yep. You know? Subjective. Subjective, right? yes. You know, fashion is very subjective thing. You know, man, as long as you shop sendiri, Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, then if after eight years, then the social media come, 2011. Uh, 2011 started to go Instagram. Go so, you started to see designers, young designers, ah, I want to do this. Mm-hmm. So, then, this is my dream to see people are doing now. You have like 30, 40 designers a year. Yeah. Show, you know? So, your recipe still never less. Only more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So, I can never be lazy. I'm pushing. That's why you ask the question, ask me why I look young. I feel good. Yeah, you know, it feel nice that you see all of them. That is our dream. But orang tahu ke tidak tahu is okay. The nature knows it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> understand. So yeah. since you you said that you know you look young, right? Can, can you share a bit, Ratu uh, Sri, mm. how like we said you look young, not mm. you said. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's quite clear. Yeah, right? and also if I don't, yeah. if you don't mind, I just want to tell the viewers your age. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Ratu Sri is fifty six years yeah. old. Yeah. For those that don't know, fifty six years old. <laughs> yeah. But he looks barely 30. <laughs> barely 30 years old. 36. Yeah. 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 36 lah, yeah. yeah. 36. <laughs> so what, what's the secret, uh, Dr. Sri? I think mindset. Mindset. Yeah, my mindset and 
and constantly want to understand the youth, you know, and then be positive, yeah. pushing, you know, and I think exercise, mm. seperti as I said, I do exercise, it do helps. Jaga juga makan sikit. Yeah. yeah kerana I want to fit in clothes, you know. Yeah. So, you so know, you can... so, yeah, yeah. So is that, that is the basic. I think every morning, definitely I do stretching. Yoga. Yeah, yoga is very, very important for mindset, you know. So uh, don't take thing too serious. You know, you. Uh, I already know there's always a light there. You know, kalau tak, because in my career tadi, you, you ask me kenapa you tak dapat, ma- macam mana you push. There's very many different, account pun ada issue, sometimes customer ada issue, staff ada issue, so that kind of thing. So sometimes it, all this come, you dah settle, 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 ada juga something. So it comes. So so you don't take it too seriously and think it too much about it. So hmm. it will happen. So, uh, so I r- rasa all this uh, exercise in the morning, very quietly I do my yoga. So it gives me ilham, mm-hmm. uh, somehow to who to call, what to do, you know. So, yeah, I never, if you ask me, my heart is still thinking I'm 25, kind of a Seriously? feeling. Yeah, but then I never want to be the 25. Yeah. I'm very happy with the knowledge that I have sekarang. I never will trade to be young, mm. you know, because sekarang I have. But I yeah. think, apa, you, Best of both world lah. Mm. You look young, but you have the, the wisdom. Yeah. wisdom oh, of yes, yeah. 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 So yeah. you, uh, most importantly, you don't get affected by what people say. Mm. You know, uh, believe in yourself. Masa you buat salah pun tak apa. As long as you do the mistake, you will never turn back. You know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Three. Okay, that's three. Three. Reflecting on your career, what do you consider your biggest achievement, and what legacy do you hope to leave for the next? Uh, next generation of fashion designers mm. um if you ask me biggest achievement last time i think of a lot of other things but sekarang if you ask me as i said that i look at the uh that you uh, like as i said i saw many fashion designers you 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 literally translate the nation being giving important to the own traditional outfit out, out, outfit you know not being afraid of feeling insecure you know like i created the archives of 40 years you know is a lifetime process you know the thank god that i actually have this endurance to pushing that looking new even though the, nak jadi fashion designer kawan keluarga tak support uh, nak buat the archive wife pula thinking it was a lot of money so all that i think that is one of a Uh, for Bernard Chandran, I think that was uh, one of the, uh, uh, w- what I would say is a main uh, uh, achievement that I think that's the biggest achievement. It's not even talking about all these big time celebrities where they come and they go, you know. Uh, of course, uh, uh, given like for example, in uh, another one just for my parents, I think. To my parents, uh, families or my ancestors, whatever you nak cakap, orang datang, Uh, cari rezeki di Malaysia my grandfather great grandfather great mother from China and India so first food then roof you know then my parents give us an education then they never think of all these titles macam datuk ke semua is a big deal to them you know what I mean it's yeah, never yeah. been a big deal and it never a dream in them you know when when I been approached I think I bring the letter to my parents they both knee down and cried The, yeah, my both parents, you know. Ooh, yeah. uh, that was the toughest part. That was, I think, as a son, I could give them. So, yeah. I think that that was the highlight in my life, I think. Yeah, naturally. Yep. Giving to them the... Yeah, yeah. So, to them, it's, it's, it's a big deal. But that's why we don't know. Um, maybe it's, uh, to some people, something important. To some people, is is not important, you know. So I think there yeah, are two that that was that was, I was shocked you know yeah but uh, how how did you feel when when that happened I couldn't even believe it I I and Firuz when we thought that that the the sultan because they met me in 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 Brunei and the queen of Brunei introduced me to our royal family yeah. mm. so then our royal family felt like a little bit like a, wow you know uh, yeah so they did do you know by then the, the the queen when the crown prince wedding yeah Mm. So I came back immediately. Uh, Sultan called us to go to uh, to to see him. So we thought that we have to make clothes. So we make <laughs> all the measurement tape and everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the Sultan asked us, "Do you have title? 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 Do I do?" I said, "No. 
you know, I said, I would really want to give it to you, you know, because you did the London shows and go there and here. So, so you know, so that I was like, I don't even know what he's talking about. So, you know, so they called a daughter to take some detail from me, maybe check on the police whether I got it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, then they say, don't say anything, that's all. So then after one month, that, that, that's the time that uh, Dato' Sidi Nwasi also get at the same time. Oh, oh same yeah, time. yeah. How many years time. ago was this? Like 10, oh my, 15 years? Already? Yes, 18 years when I'm 38. Oh, wow. Uh, 38, yeah. Long that was time. Dato, right? Yeah, Dato, yes. Dato yes, Sri? Yeah. Dato Sri later. Ah. Uh, that was another milestone, mm. you know. So, so that, your parents uh, were young, they were really shocked when you got the Dato. Like. Yeah, yeah, because already then you, even now, I think that is, that's why I just said Dato, even get Dato Sri, of course they're excited, but they already... Mm. Uh, already oh, the first the one. first one was yeah that was oh, that, shocking to them you know and mm. I remember then my wife's side they had a very good ceremony with my niece and nephews we all a big big family mm. you know like a 70 of us so they celebrated uh, uh, when I went there I was literally crying for 10 hours really <laughs> they put us sit down there and and put a garland on us and treat us like a big minister or something like that. And then each, <laughs> my niece and nephew, they read about their poem mm. and all for yeah, you, for you wow. and my wife. Because it's inspired. As I said again, mm. uh, what we are looking for, see, we don't know each family, each people, what is their needs. Yep. Mm. So this was like an extra. It's a, that's why... It, it's very uh, difficult. Some people, I know, you know, uh, to them maybe it's nothing to them, but like some families, it's a big shaken, yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. the first in your family also. In your family, right? your family, yeah. It's, it's like part, yeah. breaking that paradigm shifts also. Yes. Yeah. Right? yeah. Breaking yeah. that, uh, sorry, breaking that new barrier. New barrier, yes. Yeah. So they, are, they are start to identify uh, not only sometimes we uh, the askaka uh, fight for the country that's why we are giving them the, 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 the ministers or people who fight so now people who are doing like for example creativity musicians mm. you know you know all these people also is a, is a contribute to the nation yep. yeah. so they was been looked after you know so it push it makes everybody to do your best mm. you know if your recipe will come your turn will come you know yeah. definitely the intention must be right yep oh. yep, uh, yep. yeah yeah yeah, interesting. Yeah. I think that is a very touching yeah. story yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. this is our part of the yeah, of us. So yeah, so a lot of people don't know it was a yeah, beautiful but imagine lah, like, like your dad masih dulu kan. Mm. I'm sure awal awal ditanya kasih pun you buat fashion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of fashion, you <laughs> yeah. get such big achievements. Yeah, that's why like. my mom was saying, you know, you trying to stop him. If today is an accountant, I don't think so. <laughs> 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 that's what my mom told him. <laughs> <laughs> in Malay, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even I can't imagine. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 This is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think last question from us, but this is more in terms of, I think you are more than happy because I think my last question you kind of answered in terms of with the whole competition mm. in the industry and all that, how do you actually adapt? But I think you are more than happy, right, that that's three. Yes, and yeah, yeah. Um, but I think at the same time, of course, the 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 upper the landscape of fashion changes, change. right? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you adapt to the changes that happen? Uh, you see, uh, I'm very quickly a person who like Camille. I will change. Mm. You know what I mean? Like clothing wise, uh, it's more on. I always said invent, so that people are still digesting. Mm. You know, you know, digesting. So it's, I think, it's very important for us where you want to go, like even for music or broadcast or everything. We constantly have to be evolved in the business. So inspiration, how it comes inspiration, your muscle memory, over mm. the year you work, then you are, you are, you need to see what you need to see only. Be focused. Now you go into the phone, all of a sudden you're supposed to do something, you're going to do something else. Yeah. So to gear you up, Constantly, I talk about fashion or I talk about my contemporary melody or I constantly talk about my circle. I don't get focused. And then music's important. So these are the group people I talk and talk. Then Ilham, the inspiration come naturally for that. Yeah. So that's why you, to you, like an effortless. To me, it's like an effortless to do it. You tell me, I see a client, like a, he's a good doctor. He will just mm. teach you, touch you and he knows what's going on. Mm. The same thing to me is like that. It's because of my, my, my muscle memories. You know mm. what I mean? I train them like that. So much of taking hours to know. To me, all this putting this, all this are actually over the years, 
it's a muscle memory you put together I know mm. how it works so I have thousands of clothes and thousands of I remember every time mm. masa je bila nak keluar itu je you know mm. so I think that uh, um, make it simple at the end of the day we should make it ourselves simple yep. mm. identify what you like what you want you know do not let others influence you yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's how you go wrong mm, you same. know it's, you see when I do I like this music There's 10 people can give when you like you found out the music then the people give it 10 other the same why didn't you they reply to before uh, if you ask them okay they put it on the table it's fine then you must very decisively know what exactly you want do not influence by others then that's how it goes wrong mm. so it's hard to i can be very uh, what do you call friendly and nice but come to certain things or my thing i'm very decisive mm-hmm. but i will do it nicer way because of i think diverse as a malaysian As I said, I I I I love my country to death, regardless whatever they say, whatever happen, I don't care. I just do my thing. You know what yeah, I mean or not? Yeah. And and I'm not going to live long. Means you know we all have a lifetime and do your best what you can. You know, mm-hmm. apa jadi? I don't care. But <laughs> we're just <laughs> constantly inspired and be friends with young people to see what they want. What is the issue? Get I can more help. Feedback. Yeah, for mm-hmm. feedback. Yes. And then I give them. You know, for you, you got a lot of idea. Amazing execution. Mm. So utilize us to execute. Yeah. You know? Yep. So we have to utilize each other. You know, you I always say utilize me. You know? Uh so okay, let's okay. see. I just want to get your point of view lah. Macam of course there's a lot of fashion designer in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Is there any fashion designer yang up and coming or anybody yang you look at especially from Malaysia that you think is has high potential ataupun like the ones that to look out for? Mm, it's uh, not fair because I don't really see their clothes uh, 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 very, what do you call, um, closely. Closely, yeah. you know. Sometimes they appear to be good, but then at the end of the day, craft was not good. Then, uh, And I think the, the lack of a proper styling, mm. you know, it appear to be sometimes make a person's age a person. So you must understand the clothes, you know. So that's why we have to, uh, to me, when uh, style is what style is have to appear to be effortless. Mm. You know, what is another part of uh, my style? I like uh, people who say less is more. More is less. You know, more is less how it works. You make it effortless. You see the Indian Maharaja wear so much a pearl stack, but he appear to be still like a king. He's a regal man. You know what I mean or not? The same thing here. We like, Uh, our con- uh, country, like uh, our nation, people, the ladies or the men, we like to have colors, prints, and we like to wear many different things. But we must make it effortless. Mm. You know, he give a, you know something. Uh, how do I say? You, it's all a training. You have to do it, not do it once. Kalau sekali sekala, memang you buat exercise sekali sekala. You link up mm. your back. Yeah, if you do it all the time, mm. it becomes senang je. You can bend. You can cross your leg very easily. So the same thing for fashion, you have to be like that. Mm. So answer to your question, there are many, brutally honest, many up and coming, they're good. And they're good. So just need to tighten some part, you know. Me too, learning a lot still, you know what I mean? Not, But is there any know? names? I'm just wondering. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> to be fair, keep pushing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 but I would like to say my friend, but it's okay. You know, you know. So, uh, you know, um, Oh, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but they have, uh, to be total honest, many. But it's not uh, fair. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's about a person guru and they can't say all of them. Dia kan dia tak boleh pilih satu-satu betul, dia kena betul. bagi. Semua student tu bagus juga. Yeah. Tapi ada ke, ke ke kebaikan ke kebaikan mereka, you know, yeah. masing-masing masing-masing yes, yeah. yeah. Everybody have yeah. their own. Yeah, right? uh, yeah good, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Only thing we have to be consistent and be a brave lah. Mm. Itu saja. Faham? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we are almost get uh, apa dah nak penghujung per, uh, kita punya <laughs> rancangan hari ini. Yeah. Uh, but before that I want to Just get your advice for our viewers out there. Can whoever yang macam mungkin dia orang ni dia maybe still uh, young, then they want to be the best version of themselves. Mungkin they want they aspire to be someone great also. Do you have any advice for them? I think uh, bagi uh, uh, my opinion is like uh, you know uh, I'm sharing my uh, my my view, my own experience. 
I think you first, you must, or you can call it passion or whatever you call, but uh, you, macam seorang perikah fashion, you need, you want to be passionate, so I'm bringing up, become fashion designer, perikah fashion, you must learn the skill. You must learn the skill. Uh, uh, don't have this thing that, oh, I will be more famous, I will be more rich, all that is not. It's a skill you talk about. Mm-hmm. How good is my skill going to be? It's the craft. How, yeah, it's a craft that you want to talk about. How you going to speak well? You know what I mean? How you going to dress well? How much? Uh, even you bought crafts for the clothes. I'm going to cut and understand the structure of the body and how the fabric flow. The eye for it to pick up, mm-hmm. and then constantly be decisive. You know, kalau you dah kata macam ini, you make sure do that first before you get influenced by the rest. Mm-hmm. Because I myself had someone from uh, what do you call uh, a, a stylist from New York, Brooklyn to come 20 tahun to push me. You know what I mean? Like, we all have our comfort zone. Mm. So you must find uh, someone who know how to push you. Mm. That is also a riziki. I tell you. Find somebody to constantly come and push you. You need a person doesn't mean you pay the person and the person have to say how <laughs> fabulous you are. You know what I mean? Not? The person, you pay the person, the person say, you're not good this, the way you sit not good, the way you speak, you're, you know, it's long-winded, you had to cut it long story short, all that kind of thing. You must take it, igram tu, orang cakap, eh, nek ni je bener, you must this, and you know, she will push, we will work day and night, dari segi music, cutting, styling, hair, makeup, and push, push, and kalau I tak buat tak, I dah tumbuk macam tu. You know, she put me, yeah, but you must able to take it. Hmm. You know, we fight, but then now I think about it, my God, thank God I did that, you know? Mm. You know, so you will identify in your life. Definitely, Master too. she just came, I met her, this person uh, 20, what, uh, 20 years ago to do, do my styling for my show. Then after two shows, I find she is very pushy. Brutally and, honest. Uh, brutally mm. honest. And you know, where she's not there to make me look cute. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's like sometimes they say, good friend tell the truth and it hurts you anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but they are truth, you know. Uh, so, I think by the America, that people honest to you, treasure them and then rethink why the person say that. Mm. You know, and you will know definitely kamu. That means if you don't find it, the person who honest to you, you know it. Mm. And don't cheat yourself. Knowing the truth, seeing the truth, yet believe in a lie. A lot of us like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Or not? Yeah. So don't, you know. Mm. So just uh, identify that and then rework and rework and correct your craft. You will fall. Move again. You will fall again. Move again. You will fall. Never give up. You see how you rise. You know, so yep. definitely that, that, that I fall, even my team of staff think I'm going to commit suicide. Sometimes things are not happening, mm. you know, but I still work on it. In the end, sometimes uh, the sebab, sebab ni a certain thing, you don't get it or you think you're going to get it, the contract apa, but you don't get it. After one year, you see, nasib baik tak dapat tu. Yeah. You know, thing happen for good. Mm. You know, tak dapat tak apa. You know, but you but, but easy for me to say it, but you happen, you have to go through it. Mm. You know, but don't give up easily. Nah? So uh, my belief is like rework and rework and believe in yourself. Fortune yeah. and fame will come naturally. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So thank you so much. Oh, Our pleasure Sri. is mine. Yeah. I think the whole session has been enlightening. Mm. And I think your your story of how, what I really like about your story is that everywhere you go, you seem to make an impression to people <laughs> because you always do your best. And I think that is a very, very important point yes, to take yeah. away from, from this session. Small or big, you know? Yeah, yeah small yeah, or big. Yeah. Wherever you yeah, are, you've yeah. got to do your best, can? Even yeah. I jalan, can? In Paris, even now, <laughs> you ask Fyros, me walking, the restaurant people will look at me and just say, uh, hello, Fashion Week. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, they actually literally call me, hello, Fashion Week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nampak ada fashion. Yeah, yeah, just pass by like that. You know, dress up and pass by. It's just like yeah. normal restaurant. You can smell fashion. fashion <laughs> <la>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> As you so by. you just just do it. But you yeah, really yeah. don't care. Oh, I don't care. Just walk. You know, be a little untouched. Any last word from you? What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, Datuk Sri. Pleasure. I think your yeah your story a bit different from 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 the rest that mm-hmm. I've heard, especially when you say like um, I put put here like. 
talk behind my back. Normally people say talk to me directly, right? <laughs> <laughs> say, talk behind my back because I don't care whatever other people say. Right? Yeah. And apart from that, there's another one, but I forgot. I, I need to recap again. But there was also more is less, which really impacted me. Uh, this this two that yeah. I really yeah uh, your your approach mm. to business and your craft to being who you are mm. today is something that is really different. Mm. And I I kind of respect the part where you perf- perfecting your craft mm, yeah. perfecting your craft and even when you tell tell us uh, mm. y- you can feel the yeah. the, the power and, and, and the, the energy the most amazing thing is that at 56 years yeah. old <laughs> you're still like at it mm. you're still passionate about it yeah, correct. you're still doing it like it's your first day doing it still yeah. excited about it and I think that is a huge lesson and a key to success is correct. doing something that you love <laughs> and not just being passionate about it but be on it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thank- I want to say thank you so much because it has been a pleasure uh, to spend this uh, evening. This yeah. evening. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. evening so, with you yeah. thank so, you so much uh, weekend yeah, thank, as well yeah, weekend, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so weekend thank you thank you so much thank for so being much. here and sharing your story with us yep. and I pray and wish that Bernard Chandran will go even beyond whatever that yeah. you have achieved yes. you have been an inspiration to many Malaysian I think the whole fashion world are inspired by you you yeah. are like the the I don't know the father or the big brother yeah. of the fashion industry, but you have definitely created a yeah. huge. I even told my Malaysia. dad, uh, "I'm doing doing yourself." Let us see. He's like, "Wow, okay, nice." He he's also aware of your yeah. your strong feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So, I think today we are very lucky. So, yep. thank you so much again to Datuk Sri. Thank Thanks, you so much, Datuk Sri. Amen for your blessing. Hopefully, everything will be good. Yeah. 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 And Looking don't forget forward. also to come yeah. and uh, apa. Uh, come to the show in yeah. Fahrenheit on yeah, the yes. 4th to 7th July. Yeah. No, 5th eh, to 7th. 5th to 7th July. July. Yeah. Yeah, in so Fahrenheit. we'll be there. We also will be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll so be yeah. yeah. All right. So thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Uh, episode ini dibawakan khas oleh Usanita and jangan lupa untuk subscribe dan juga share kita punya podcast ini dengan ramai orang. Yep. And we'll see you in the next, next week. All yes. right. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Terima kasih.